Timely. We're back. Let's see if this works. What were you going to say about, so we're here on Rumble. What was that thing you were going to say about why Rumble's bad? <laughs> well, I was going to say just, start, just like the newer and different streaming services in general, I feel like are kind of kind of effed because they're not as easy. So like, whereas like you were saying, like there's a couple extra steps with Rumble before you can get uh, streaming with like Facebook or like YouTube. I know from, from my experience, like you can just go boom, boom. You just set up, set it up and you stream from whatever. And I think that's what ultimately kind of fucks these uh, third party uh, apps and shit like that or third party streaming services is the fact that people don't want to like stay patient and actually go like, oh, shit, I got to do this again. Or the, the link expired or whatever the fuck it is. But I, I appreciate it, especially any any place that's free to stream is pretty cool. I'm a little I'm a little mixed about it. Um, I think. Like, I think I'm of, uh, well, it's funny. I was actually thinking about this because I think you and me all the time constantly default on being like, we're retarded. Pfft. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I actually think, I think you and me are actually pretty mentally proficient people. I don't have the balls to say smart. I don't want to go that far because I think there's a lot yeah. of responsibility that comes with smart. Mentally but I think that's a good way to put it. Yeah. I think you and me are pretty mentally proficient. I just think when it comes to quote unquote smart shit, sometimes like, you and me get exhausted very quickly so we don't yeah. always go into but i say that to say i think i'm a ment i'm a pretty mentally proficient person and i think when you're like that you should be able to like when i log on to rumble it should be pretty clear on just how to stream you know what i mean yeah. and then when i connect it to like fucking um when i connect it to fucking Streamyard, it should be pretty clear on how to do it and when i connected it to uh youtube it was pretty locked in i just i just fucking beep boop beep hit a, bu hit a couple buttons it's connected to youtube when i hit the fucking button i'm on youtube and the thing is like rumble is and this is this is the thing it's it's a big reason why i think bitcoin's taken forever to adopt to the masses why yeah. a lot of like why a lot of normal people aren't on board with bitcoin is because you're adding like when when you add three or four of the like annoying steps you're immediately going to turn off all the average people and a lot of people kind of like I think the like quick default to that is just to is just to call people fucking dumb. Yeah. And sh and I go, "No, that's not fair. That's not yeah. fair cuz it's like, no, it, it it's it's a lot of people got a lot of fucking shit to do and they don't necessarily have time to figure out the ins and outs of your thing. And also as someone selling a product, I think it I think the bare minimum should it be easily accessible to the average person. And that's sort of yeah. like my beef. That's my beef with Rumble right now um is setting up the fucking stream. It's not just hit a button. It's like I have to set up a stream on Rumble. Take so when you guys people who don't know when you do a stream, you have to get the stream key and uh something called like a server URL. So I have to I have to set up a stream, set up a stream on Rumble. Uh, schedule the stream, copy and paste this shit into StreamYard, and then we're good to go. Now that adds three or four more steps. But when you're used to YouTube or Twitch or any of those websites, um, you know, you do a little beep boop beep, and you're on, <laughs> you're on fucking streaming. Yeah. It becomes it keep, it becomes aggravating. But here's the other part though: when the service you provide me in other aspects is substantially better, because this has been. This has been the quandary with me on going over to Rumble is the, the disadvantage to Rumble like this, like setting up the stream and little things like that. But let's be real. The main disadvantage to Rumble is immediately normal people see you're on Rumble and they're like, mm, you're one of those guys. You're one of those you're one of those free speech freedom fighters. And you're like, well, I mean, freedom of speech is pretty sick and pretty vital to, you know, <laughs> the health of the nation. But I, yeah. wouldn't, I wouldn't I wouldn't call myself a freedom fighter. Or, or, I don't know. I'm like. I'm like, yeah, I believe that shit, but I'm not like one of those dorks. <laughs> like if, if we're really like if we're talking about even what, you know, what, if it skews a little bit more to uh, a side, I guess it's, you know, yeah, we're it, we want to be able to say stuff like gay and retarded and, and <laughs> shit like, that, like and not get like like the fact that people call uh, like I, a lot of times like they've found loopholes on how to talk about rape and they go like we call it grape now <laughs> or they like, call suicide unaliving unaliving or 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 like ch uh, child porn is cp it's like dude what like legitimately 
what are I, dude? I literally, I just, I talked. Uh, at yeah, Buff I just call it fantastic. What's with these fucking CP <laughs> labels? Yeah, stop calling me that. I'm not into CP. It's child porn. No, I, I went to. I'm into. Uh, I'm into beautiful cinema. <laughs> I, I recently, I recently, uh, Andy spoke at Bucknell University to yeah? college, college children about uh, 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 babies. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what? we don't we don't do that on this show with the can. Yeah, they don't they get the reference. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> this is no more check heroes. Out, check out Drag the Lake. That was a free commercial for us. I know the difference between Drag the Lake and No More Heroes is the thinnest of lines, but this is almost <laughs> you see, Pat. Huh? We're on No More Heroes. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I know you open a can. You know not to open cans here. Um, there's a there's, I was uh, such an idiot. I forgot my own joke I do. And when you said I was like, are you doing a symposium on childbirth? What do you know a bunch of shit I'm not aware of? No, that's the, that's the joke from the other podcast. I I, I've, I know I've it is the joke from the other podcast. I've I'm doing a, a I'm yes ending my own stupidity. I'm closing. I was closing it up. Uh, oh, you're no out. budding. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but, mm -hmm. um, Stage one of comedy. Thank you. At uh, uh, the college Bucknell University, I was uh, asked to speak about clean comedy and Essentially, I said, <laughs> you start off by going, I don't do it. I said, I, yeah, I said, I think uh, clean comedy is for children and dumb people. Clean comedy I, is gay as fuck. You dumb shit eating retards. Objective. And then I spoke about uh, the bombing uh, uh, of Hiroshima. I spoke about uh, um, uh, autistic people, retarded people, uh, race, all this other shit. And I was just like, you could just do whatever. Just do whatever you want. Just. It, it's it's subjective. Learn that clean is a clean comedy is another spectrum in this fucking world, and there's no such thing. It's just pussies that can't take a word. Yeah, can I make? Can I also make this distinction? There's a difference between there's clean comedy and then there's not cursing. Right. So there's comics like uh, Jim Gaffigan, uh, Brian Regan, Nate Bargatze. All yeah. those dudes, fucking beasts. Yeah. But like they just don't I wouldn't curse. I wouldn't say they do clean comedy. They just oh. don't curse. And people might be hearing that going like, what's the fucking difference? There is a slight difference because in my mind, it's the same as saying, like, I do dirty comedy. Right. That is someone actively when they're writing the jokes, they're kind of like their they're intention. It. Yeah, their intention is to be like squeaky clean and not fucked up. There is, there's just a difference between like. Well, like with a dude like Nate Bargatze, he just writes jokes and goes, I just don't feel like cursing right now. Right. It's just not my style. But there's some like, yeah, I don't know. And there's, then on the flip side, there's comics who try to go out of their way to be like extra fucked up. I have to figure out how to talk about this. I have to. And it's like, no, you don't. You can just do whatever you think is funny. But I feel my, my biggest thing was like, I think clean being subjective means some people say clean and like you said they just oh we're not cursing but i'm i still talk about suit like the, i've been told by multiple people in uh, in my local uh com comedy community that i'm quote one of their favorite clean comics and i was like i have never ever thought or or actively tried to not curse unless i was specifically asked to by a venue and they were paying me so like if there's a, a situation with clean sometimes people hear clean and they go like you said they just don't curse and other people say clean and you're like is this family friendly and you're like what the fuck are you talking about like it's a spectrum just like anything else and if it's if it's literally just not cursing then you can just say it, i've had i had a lady once ask me a, a show that i was on you know zach hammond right yeah uh, i was on a, it was me and zach on this winery comedy tour and we were taking tickets because we had to do everything because the guy ron sucked ass um, so we were, Ron. we were taking tickets and, and this lady goes, is this show PG 13? And I said, no, <laughs> like just, I, I don't understand what, why did you buy a ticket to something? If you want, you know what I mean? Like she yeah. thought uh, like she was going into it going like, well, it's going to be a nice place. It's a winery, but it's, if you're on, I, I mean, I guess technic well, technically speaking, it's if it's your establishment, you're allowed to do whatever the fuck you want. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a libertarian. I believe in private property. I believe as long as you're not hurting anyone, do whatever the fuck you want. But like the next stage of that is like, but yeah, like, let's actually talk about, you know, being adults and enjoying entertainment. It's this weird thing when like a grown person like I could see um, 
I could see, like, I don't know. What's the, fr- like, 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 um, okay. You know how I do the R. Kelly joke? Yeah. I did that to, I did, I remember I used, I actually, I actually reworked the joke for a while because I was like super aggressive and super harsh. Yeah. And then I did the joke in front of a predominantly Hispanic and black crowd. And like white people are real quick to be like, fuck R. Kelly, fucked it. But like black people and Hispanic people are like, well, no, we also grew up with his music. So we have this emotional attachment. So yeah. even though we know, <laughs> so like they have more of an emotional attachment to his music than like white people do. So it's like, you can't get away with shit like that um in front so it's like it taught it, i in that moment actually shifted the joke a little so it would like yeah. do well in front of them and then i'm like oh i actually found like a better way to do the joke and shit. and then um but like so i could see someone in that context like say if they knew i had the r kelly joke someone was just like yo you might want to skip that joke they are not gonna laugh at it but either but at the same time there's also this thing of like adults going out like from content wise but adults going out just being like I don't want to hear cursing. You're like, dude, hear who? salty language. It's you yeah. Know, you're I, like, I, dude, who are you? You're drinking alcohol and you drove here. You fucking retard. What is wrong yeah. with you? Like, why are you? And that's the thing. It's like if you have those parameters, then you need to make sure before you. That's the thing that really pissed me off. Was like, hey, 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 hey. You guys aren't going to be too dirty tonight, are you? Like, because I didn't come here for a dirty comedy show. Like, yes, you did. You absolutely. You bought a ticket and you came to a dirty comedy show. Not on purpose, but that's not our fucking fault. Can like I ask you, you this question? Is yeah. does that come off as psychotic to you as it does me? Because it's yeah. something weird to like. I've never. I can. Um, I, I, here, 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 wait. I've never gone to a thing, whether it be entertainment or whatever, and just been like, "Hey, could you guys maybe adjust it to the way that makes me more hey, comfortable?" Yeah, I'll sell my family too, but it's mainly I'm asking for me because I. So I, weird. That's I such a like, weird mindset. But that's the thing. So I think that's what it is. Is I do understand the perspective too. I can I, I can understand their perspective a little bit of saying, I don't want to see some fucking open micer go up there and attempt raunchy humor. Like you know what I mean. But you also paid money for a comedy show already. You have to understand that you just just hope and suspect that this is at a higher level than if you were just to go to some comedy open mic or your your friend show you came to a show yeah two professional touring comedians do comedy in this fucking open field <laughs> pre-pandemic <laughs> so like it, it's yeah that was bad dude heckled by crickets am i right <laughs> hmm. actual crickets so there is uh there's like an expectation i'm sure of like well normally when i come to this establishment i don't hear about uh uh you know suicide and rape but like tonight it's a possibility and you're gonna have and you'll you're paying for it but if unless it says specifically i i just really feel like if there's if you can't handle naughty words it, it immediately it makes me feel like you are more limited every time I hear the talk about clean comedy. They're like, you know, it's actually it's actually really useful because, you know, it, it makes you more marketable to more people. If you are actively trying to say poopy and pee pee instead of like penis or you're not going to say come, you're not going to talk about coming. You know what I mean? Like if like yeah. you to specifically avert certain subjects or not expand on a joke because you think it'll be too naughty then you are the one that's limiting yourself. I can it's, always not curse. I can always not curse. I don't have to curse. But if you are specifically saying, it's the same way I feel about straight edge people. Like if you are telling me you're better at, at life because you have experienced less because you do less than me, including drugs, <laughs> then I have to uh, immediately go like, well, no, you could be that and then get clean you can do that on occasion there's it's it's life you don't have to be like so militant with something like that and yeah and also if you're work. someone like like i talked to uh when i was doing the end podcast forever ago i talked to shaner asking him about being sober and he was like yeah if one beer he's like every single time one beer turns into 15. Yeah. that makes sense but like i don't know sometimes i just go i don't know there's like some false nobility and like white knuckling life and yeah. you're like, you know, it's the same. It's the same thing. People we've talked about before. People try to have that mindset of just like, I'm gonna do it all on my own. And you're like, do you, it's actually fucking impossible to do it all on your own. Yeah. So in the same, so in the same breath, like, dude, like all those fucking people drive me insane. Where 
they're like oh you need to have you need to drink to have fun and you're like dude what like why am i the asshole why am i the like is art and to those people i go like oh are you so like disconnected from anything real that you're just like i don't ever need to drink i don't ever need a drink to fucking chill the fuck out you know what i mean like like to me the idea of just like having a drink or two sometimes or you know maybe 10 whatever whatever (laughs) whatever it may be but no legitimately like the idea of like having a drink you're like yeah that just seems like it should just be an understood part of life it's when it's like you're fucking I don't know. You have to you have to drink vodka in the morning so you stop shaking so you look right. normal at work. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. I think I think there's like so that's funny that you bring up the the drink, having fun to drink or needing to drink to have fun. I Last just, night at the show, Dom and I were at the bar. We walked up together and and she I was like, "What are you getting?" And she's like, "I don't know, probably probably Yingling." And I was like, "Okay, yeah." I was like, "Can give me one too." And I gave her cash and I was like and she's like, "Oh, thanks. Appreciate it." And I said she ordered, she got the drinks, and uh, and then the lady <laughs> gave her the two drinks. And Dom turned to me like to hand me a beer, and I went, and I just looked past her at the bartender, and I was like, "Yeah, can I just get two Yinglings, please?" And she's like, she looked at me, and I was like, I was like, hold on to that. <laughs> I was just like, we're just stocking up right now because I don't want to wait in this line again. So yeah. she, she was like, it was one of those things, but it's 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 the same thing where like she loves to read. Dom loves reading. It, her favorite thing to do to relax. So, like, what? Why is it any different? Like, how stupid? Why does it sound stupid for me to go like, oh, so you need to read to relax and have a good time? Okay, all right. So, what? You need a nice warm couch and a blanket to relax? Like, yeah, it's one of those things of like, yes, this is just my thing. This is the thing that I like to do to cut loose. No. I don't need it, like you said. It's a difference between when they hear that much like the clean comedy conversation, they hear like, okay, I can bring my baby to the show. Like, no, 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 no. What, what, what it is, is, is just means that it's still a, an adult venue, but you know, we're going to say things uh, that we're not going to say those naughty words that you can't say on TV, but um, you imply things. You're still going to do things uh, that may subject matter wise be like, like rude to somebody. But I, I feel like, I, I don't care. I really don't give it's it's never a comedian's job to manage expectations. All you are there to do is to entertain. And yeah. And- I mean it's one thing it's one thing, um you know, it's one thing to if 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 the person running the show, it's like, you know, you got hired to do a job. It's like if you got hired to <laughs> it's like if you got hired to paint someone's house and they're like, I wanted it blue and you're like, dude, I'm doing my art. I thought white looked way better. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's like yeah, yeah. It's one thing. It's like, yeah, if you're getting paid, do the fucking job. But also at the same time, but what 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 I I focus more on is I'm always just like, what, like, what do you guys? How do you guys want to do this life thing? Is that how you just want to do life with? And I'm not, bro. We, you and me have talked about before. There's some nights I love doing fucking nothing. No, no one would categorize me as like, oh, if you want to fucking, <laughs> like, like. I'll fuck it. If you want a crazy night with unexpected things happening where you're going to go do wild shit, it's like no one's going to categorize. It's like, yo, go fucking hang out with Andy. But also at the same time, I'm a good hang. Like when we're at the bar or whatever, that's where I'm like the good hang. So I'm not even I remember like when I was growing up, all my friends wanted to go to like the abandoned because I lived in the fucking middle of central PA and all my friends would be like, let's go to the fucking uh, abandoned thing. And I'd go, no, I don't. That sounds that's that's kind of what i mean like don't expect but at the same time i'm also the guy that's like do you want to do you want to talk about if fucking we're just a bunch of ants in a in an ant colony for aliens i will legitimately consider that with you if you would like to and that's more of the thing from like a mental standpoint i look at some of these people and i go do you just want to do you just want to drive 30 through this whole thing? You know, right. you never want to, you never want to see if you can get that car up to 120 mentally. Like I'm not yeah. even trying to, I'm not trying to even call like people stupid. I'm just ta- I'm talking about like different avenues you want to pursue. I go, you never want to take this thing up to fucking 120 and hit hairpin turns right. turns for anything mentally. That's that, that, that to me is like, I like people it's like dude go to a comedy show and just be like I hope this guy here's the other part also if you get that new comic that wants to be like you know let me hit you with my best holocaust joke or something and it sucks dick it's 
so fun to watch someone crash and burn. Yeah. It's so fun to watch someone fail at their dream. Yeah. yeah I, I think there's a, I think there's a level of like, like <laughs> just, to, just to add clarification to my, what I was saying, like uh, managing expectations, meaning like the lady that comes in going, I'm coming here for a clean comedy show. And like, I'm there to do my job. My job is to go up there and entertain the crowd with comedy, with my comedy, like not comedy that they're, coming in to request like i want all political humor and i really hope he speaks to me because i got some things to say about the news like that's not what we're here for you are coming to a comedy show with your own expectations and and if you think that's going to be a, a a issue then it's on you not me like it's yeah. not a thing where i'm there to do my job and tell people jokes and make them laugh but it's one of those things that i i i, I just feel like overall like you have like you said you have your your strengths and your your weaknesses <laughs> with with crowds and everything <laughs> but i feel like there's a ultimately it's like it's uh it's just it's not like um i don't know how to put it i, I but i did i do i i i got more clarification with your painting reference because that would be pretty funny to get like a <laughs> to get a painting job and just be like i thought blue was better like yeah, yeah. it's a, it's 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 kind of a tightrope because i don't want comics to go up there and just be super self-indulgent the whole time i think yeah. that's a i think a lot of like there's a time and place for it like i that like when you're when you're in different artistic things i when there's times and place to do your over the fucking top self-indulgent artistic -y thing yeah. but also at the same time you know when you're going when we're if we go to a comedy club or if we're going to see a band and they're in like a normal concert venue there's obviously an expectation to please the crowd but as the crowd it's just very weird to go in with this attitude of like hey let's not get too crazy and yeah. you're like you're like, what are we doing? You yeah. go to, everyone goes to fucking work. You can't like, if you're lucky, you could probably say like, fuck at your job. But like most yeah. places, if you talk about anything interesting, it's, if you talk about anything interesting, it's going to be a big fucking deal. And you're going to have to go to HR and you're going to probably get fucking fired. And then you go home and you, you're, you're all busy. Half of you guys have wife and kids and stuff. So you're around your kids and you can't talk the way you want around your kids. And now you're at a late night comedy club where you're all drinking and fucking <laughs> and shit like that and you're sitting there going the comedian on stage better not say anything risque and you're like funny. you're like dude i'd be begging for the comic to say something yeah. insane just to break up the monotony i think you're right that that kind of goes with what you were saying that i forgot that was the other point i wanted to uh compliment you on was the redlining your brain there's something there's a mix between that too like if you just go to a comedy show, like I'm not, I'm saying the people that just go to comedy shows and don't know who the comics are that they're going to pay for, like, which this was like, I don't think we weren't going there with our fans all coming to this winery field. It was all people that said, Oh, comedy show sold. You know what I mean? Like I, it, that's a good thing. You should do that, but don't go in there going like now, now, now here's what I want. Well, it's like you go in there and you challenge yourself like go in there and go like oh this guy's talking a lot about shit that i have no idea what he's talking about i i don't know and and like you said be like have be be comfortable having a shitty time and not telling anyone about it and in, in the moment <laughs> you know what well, i mean you know what i think a big part about that is a lot i think com from what i've noticed comedy is the least understood thing yeah P or it's it's the thing people take the least amount of time to sort of understand it going in and you know what's weird is that's kind of that's kind of for the better in certain avenues because like like i've like the the thing i benefit from one of my favorite compliments is when people go dude it was it looked like you were just talking up there yeah and it's like yeah, I benefit from the fact that they can't see the little things I do to make it seem like I'm just talking and shit. But also at the same time, there will be people who go like, well, I sit at home, I watch The Big Bang Theory, and then I watch Two and a Half Men, and then I watch uh, 911, that show or whatever. Or that's not a comedy show. Um, I just I just think fucking 
I just think choking on stuff's funny. That's why I watch 911. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? It's like they watch the I watch the Big Bang Theory and then I watch Young Sheldon and then I watch America's Got Talent and I go to bed by 9 p.m. Yeah. And and, and I, I I take my little Alka-Seltzer and I go night night. And then like people are like and that is what comedy is. And then you go up there and you're just like, "Have you ever think about a baby committing suicide?" And they're like, "No! Please yeah. don't." Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, It's like it it comes off as an attack. But that's the thing is like you also know that this is even le- like we're not even doing a sitcom. We're just saying ideas. It's just thoughts. It's words. It's literally the thing that I've always uh, uh, I used to I used to tell myself so my bullies wouldn't uh, kill me <laughs> completely. But it was uh, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt you. And, and, then, I was they, like, and then they fucked your face. And then they actually punched me in the back. And I was like, <laughs> ow. <laughs> They didn't even give me a word to like oh, warn me. <laughs> go back to words. I just said sticks and stones will break my bones. And they're like, yeah, but you know what does? My that's fist. Why, that's why I always respected the hell out of my dad because he um he would be very milk toast on a lot of things. Like my dad will my dad will crush some Big Bang Theory and just love yeah. life. But yeah. I, I will give him credit. Like he does watch some good shit. Like he'll watch some. Uh, I forget what the fuck it is. There's this there's this old film series called The Blind Swordsman that he just is obsessed with. So he'll it'll be very weird. Yeah. He'll watch The Big Bang Theory and love it like it's the best show on TV. And then he'll watch a obscure samurai series that literally everyone I've told has never heard of it. It's he's yeah. he's an interesting guy like that. But um he is like when it comes to comedy and certain things, he can be very milk toast about it. But that's why I always respected my dad, because he was the type of guy where he's like, Yeah, if I don't like it, I just leave. Yeah, he's like, I don't fucking like you said, I don't fucking tell anyone about it. Yeah, no, it's not anybody else. Like, I don't like it. It's not like if especially it's my favorite thing when the uh, uh, the whole crowd is laughing and then there's a one person that's like, that's not funny. And you're like, you had to wait for people to stop laughing to say that. How Can stupid I, you sound like you don't even understand how stupid you sound. Let me ask you about that, because that's a, that, that That's like an interesting phenomenon that I've been thinking about lately, because there's been certain avenues where because. I th- and I think social media is exacerbating this. Yes, we are going to hit the risque topic of I don't think social media is good for you. Uh, <laughs> we're that we're those kind of bad boys over here on No More that's Heroes. Easy guys, that's why we're <laughs> here on Rumble, the social media platform. Yeah, that's why we're on Rumble. <laughs> we're talking about risque topics. <laughs> no, actually, oh, that was the last thing I wanted to mention. Um, is that is the other part too about being on Rumble? Because we were saying before, it's like I just I just hate that like fucking freedom of speech, freedom fighter fucking conservative dickhead label that um is is sort of bestowed upon everyone who chooses rumble because like dude i'll be straight up my I, I made a joke about it online where i was just like yeah i just like i like talking about oh i found out the term of the things i'm into parapolitics is apparently when you're into like the deep state and mk ultra and hella schizophrenic shit uh, but no, I posted it on Twitter. I was like, dude, I'm just into mad schizophrenic shit and I hate copyright laws. <laughs> like that's my, that's my main re- And I, dude, I'll be straight up too. Like YouTube's annoying. You know, it's like, I want to be able to just play a fucking clip and not worry about the stream getting taken down. Yeah. And then Twitch one growth on Twitch seems impossible at this point. If you're not just like a fat titted child growth on Twitch just <laughs> seems impossible. <laughs> Luckily, and, luckily for us we are fat titted children so yeah so maybe we should go back to twitch now yeah. the thing about twitch that always just got up in my ass uh was the fucking did you know this on twitch when you when you become affiliate they fuck you in the ass it's crazy fuck out of here that's really? what got up in my ass a fucking penis from a real life penis huh from mr twitch god damn they get you a th- they mail you a 3d printed penis that you have to <laughs> videotape yourself it's not even put- his penis he just, they, they just mail you a penis and force you to it's like a mold and then you got to sit down on it without any kind of lube and film it and send it to him dry dude dry Fucked no up. i i don't know if you knew this about fucking twitch but so you get affiliated and you're all fucking excited to make fucking money and then you find out every like subscription you get they take like 50 percent of it and that's like the, you can do a lot of donations and stuff but subscriptions is an easy way to like make money on Twitch initially and shit. And I was just like, 
And then on top of that, they do a lot of shit where they'll ban you and not be very like this is the other thing that annoys me about Twitch and YouTube. They'll ban you and they'll fucking they'll they'll restrict things and this and that. And then their communication is horrendous. And I go, that's not a good business model to me. Yeah. If you're because here's the reality of it. Like we all joke like streaming and all this other stuff. It's all fake jobs. It's just all yeah. fucking fake jobs and shit like that. But also at the same time, like your livelihood your livelihood if you make your money off of streaming and all these other fucking fake jobs there's a there's a responsibility on the the fucking the people who run the website you make money off of there should be a responsibility on them to very clearly explain to you why you just woke up and your youtube channel's not yeah. there anymore yeah 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 like the not not some and, and not some vague bullshit where they're like you violated uh, mm -hmm. uh community mm -hmm. standards and you're like what did i do say mm -hmm. the thing that i did and I just I, I I guess for me short term it would probably be better to be on YouTube and Twitch and stuff like that, but I just think for the long term, fucking you know, just over here with all the other conservative, uh, closeted gay bros is I think where we're gonna be vibing out. Yeah. And also we can fucking we can fucking do more playing music with Drag the Lake and shit like that. We're still gonna upload. We're still gonna upload on. Uh, youtube and shit like that but i think for a lot of things it's gonna just it's just gonna be less of it it's, it's ironic because we said before like setting up the stream is a headache uh but then also on the flip side just like constantly being like oh wait was that not okay to yeah. do was that not okay to do are we not allowed to do this yeah. it may it just makes me feel limited and i don't like it yeah when we yeah when we like even like just naturally kind of joke about being gay and killing ourselves is like it's you know you know when the half of the time that we're joking about that and the other like i don't want it to be taken too seriously and have somebody go like oh you, you can have support and you're gonna and we're gonna take this part out or or how many times have we had a stream like just get taken down like in midstream like when we're playing something like that's annoying enough like the, if you can't monetize or if there's copyright strikes after you put something up that's one thing but like just having like the live show taken down and it's like I don't know, man. Like, is it? Is what are you doing? What are you know we what doing? I mean? I, yeah, what are we doing here? Because I, I, I wonder about this too. Because you said you hate copyright laws. Uh, there's, is there's an interesting thing where I've a uh, dilemma that I, I feel like I have with only, only fans models. Uh, oftentimes, will they don't say I love you back? Yeah, they don't ever answer my DMs, and I'm like, I paid the money, send me <laughs> the panties, and say where you wore them. But there's That's apparently a big part of OnlyFans is, is DMs, the yeah. is the DMs, which I is, found that out. Too. Yeah, they're like, I don't answer DMs on Instagram, but if you follow me on on uh, OnlyFans, I will. And it's like, what? who the fuck would do that? And it's like, well, yeah, there's people that yeah. would. No, I may I may or may not have you know accessed an OnlyFans account here or there. Uh huh. And like, I don't know. Maybe it's just from being like married or whatever. And the idea of like. Just another some, yeah some girl i've never met to yeah. have her like you know text like text me nice things which also use your fucking head there's like a fucking 75 percent chance it's, it's just yeah. some guy it's somebody that looks like us that's managing their social media for yeah it. yeah it's a it's literally a guy that looks like us telling you like oh thank you daddy <laughs> But they use the voice too. But there's a uh, they'll be fucked up if they still did videos and stuff for them too. And they're like, no, 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 you just do the just do the text. Don't 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 send videos. Okay, daddy, I'm gonna show you my butthole. But <laughs> also, also, I gotta be honest. Like some of those OnlyFans girls, the way they perform, it's yeah, it's it's subpar, dude. It's really amateur. Like, like when you're used to the in, when you're yes, exactly when you're used to the insanity of no stamina, no high quality. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's no one, no one feeding them coke. Like, yeah. it's crazy. It's nuts. <laughs> it's it's like, crazy. Have a coke guy? <laughs> Do they even have a drug addiction? But I feel like so a lot of times they bitch about their their shit getting stolen and it gets taken down for copy uh, copyright uh, infringement. Like if if somebody buys their paid uh, uh, videos and yeah. then posts them. A lot of times when you go to access them, I've heard, I, I don't, I don't know personally, but if when other, try, when other weirdos go to I, look, I read it on a form of like creeps. I'm like creeps watching creeps. And I'm like, cause I don't do that stuff. I just want to make sure you guys don't. You would and, never uh, No. So they, uh, but they're like, Oh, you know, I can't believe you still, if you've ever jerked off to me, you need to pay me and blah, blah, blah. And all this stuff. And you can't, uh, use the, uh, my copywritten material without my permission and all this other shit. And it's like, but 
in in the videos, in your striptease videos, in your pornos and stuff, you're playing music that is copywritten. Yeah, right. It's like you are stealing from Bill Waters, like you fucking dumb bitch. Like, what are you yeah. talking? About? And so, so the fact that copyright laws was brought up in in, in the first, like that's your thing. I understand. Don't steal content that's meant to be paid, but also like up your security. I don't know. Well, no, that's a good point. That's a good point you made when you said up your security because the copyright law, the copyright law thing's a weird, a weird thing. Because always for the longest time, just me being into like artistic shit, I just was like, I accept. It. I was like, yeah, we need you need copyright laws yeah. and shit. But then if you really think about it, it is kind of weird. Like from from a technical standpoint, you're like, what are you copywriting? Because yeah. like, because I remember I thought about it this way where, um, um, like, so I bought the song, but I, if I put it in a video and post it now, I can't do that. So what right. am I do? What, it's like, cause if I buy, like, if I go get a DeWalt drill and then I use that drill to make a house. I don't own DeWalt money because I use their drill, right, but, yeah. when, but, but when it's a song, if I use, so I'm just saying from a legal standpoint, copyright laws kind of don't make sense. Now, the next step you would extrapolate. So, you, so then people, cause the, the retarded response to that is people go like, oh, so you just think it's okay for people to use other people's shit. It's like, well, the next no. step from the next step from that is like, you would then expect private businesses to, because it would just be a good business practice to take down people's shit who was like stealing other people's like creative shit. But um, all, oh, but also the other point is uh, what you were saying. I think you said bad security or something like that. Yeah, is I it remind me of when? Do you remember? Um, do you remember the age? Bringing it back to comedy, do you remember the age where it still happens, but it's just so rampant now that people kind of don't even don't even do anything about it but like just people stealing people's jokes on social yeah. media yeah, yeah. But you you remember when it, that got popular on instagram there would be those accounts like the one dude i think he called himself the fat jewish he would this would be crazy because like it was so funny that he did this because it's just a it's just a fucking window into the this guy being a fucking dickhead just in general because he would yeah. take people's jokes crop out the tag and then post them on instagram and yeah. it'd be so ironic because then comedians would complain about that and then all the people would be like all the people enjoying it they're like dude i'm just here for the joke i don't care who wrote it so yeah. it's ironic where it's like why are you going the next step and editing out their handle <laughs> it right. just uh, seemed it just seemed so much more diabolical because this is like it's a weird thing Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no. Oh, I was just going to say one last point to piggyback off of what are you saying about having bad security. And that to me, I go, yes. Like to all the people getting their jokes stolen or like these girls getting their shit screen recorded and posted somewhere else. Like it's their right to go to places that are posted and go, yo, please take yeah, this take down. down. This yeah. is my shit. But also at the same time, it's like to me, you put your it's like it's like if you had a yard. Like I think about it at my day job where we have we have the shit we keep in outside. It's like at the end of the day, we didn't lock the gate up and then we got mad that people stole from it. It's like, yeah, you left it outside. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's and, one of those things that, like you can you can say, yeah, that's fucked up that somebody would steal. And it's also like, well, yeah, that's fucked up that you would just like have it so easily able to steal. Like, I, I don't you yeah, know. What your I'm good, saying? your okay. good stuff's really stealable. Yeah. And that's the thing is if if you have it. So it, it, like uh, UFC has to do it a lot of times with their replays. They've just cut out the entrances now and the replays for fights because in the walkout songs, oh, they were they being use. forced to take the music out. And it's like so you can argue the same same thing. Nobody is watching these old UFC fights for the walkout and the song. What they unless they're I like, would love to meet that guy though. That guy yeah. does seem like he's an awesome level of insane. You know what I mean? Like, okay, well, he's in the ring. I'm gonna head home. Like, I, that's all I wanted to see. <laughs> <laughs> great way to beat traffic. But like, so like, I, I don't have the you. I don't have the internet, but I have enough money to buy UFC tickets, and that's where I go listen to music. Right, right. So, so like, it's the most out of the way. So, I obviously nobody is subscribing to these ladies only fans so that they can listen to Red Hot Chili Peppers, but if you are if you are playing red hot chili peppers to get in the mood to do this bit like then they're helping in this process and they deserve a cut of your profits so it's like one of those things the price of you having this again 
non-job where you just get naked and, and poorly masturbate in front of uh, like 2,500 subscribers, then then that's that's your business. The price of doing business is you have to actively go out there and try to find the copyright stuff and take it down and do all, all that stuff. Because if if so, let's just say the Red Hot Chili Peppers happen to see that clip and they go like, then who's suing who? Hey, you stole my clip. Hey, you stole our song. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, wh who's got the copyright law part in that? Like, I feel like ultimately, if somebody steals your joke, if somebody steals your your media or something like that, make new media. Keep going. Like, you know what I mean? Like, keep being funny. But also, because like you said, people don't give a shit. They, they just go like, I want to see the titties. I want to see the fight. I want to see the joke. I don't care where it comes from or anything like that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think that we should necessarily just go like, well, anybody that says, like, if I write a joke, I, I just don't, dude, The it's a collection of jokes. If somebody steals a whole set of yours, then yeah, I can understand like wanting to like kill well, them. I think it's about, I think the problem is, I think the problem is just like having bad solutions to problems. So yeah. the, the, the realization is, so back to the fat, the fat Jewish guy. Um, which that was his name. Just to remind everyone that was his name. Fat Jewish guy. <laughs> I don't just describe people like that. Um, fat, fat Jewish guy. <laughs> but uh, back to the fat Jewish. Um, that so that kind of because people always want like a quick fix, and there's a lot of problems that you're just like, dude, that's just not feasible. Yeah. And like, unless unless we have the most efficient totalitarian state, these quick fixes you want are just not feasible. So yeah. like in the context of the fat Jewish. What happened to him is he just people people just this is why I always say this is why I always say like knowledge is almost better than anything. Knowledge is almost better than any law you could fucking write because people put out enough stuff about the fat Jewish being like, yo, this guy actually sucks ass. Yeah. And then people just stopped fucking with him. And I don't like when do you ever hear about him anymore? Yeah. Well, yeah. Aside from you just bringing up just now, I haven't even thought about it at all since that initial thing, because like you said, there's it's almost like the uh, the the um, the way you feel about the N word. You know what I mean? Like, say it as much as possible just in the car. <laughs> what? Uh, no. <laughs> Here, perfect example. I just I just looked up the I just looked up the fat Jewish. I'm on his YouTube channel. Only has only has twelve point eight thousand subscribers. His last video he posted five months ago got 763 views and from multiple years after that the most he's gotten is like a couple thousand so he's not doing well <laughs> yeah it's just gonna it's just gonna continue it's kind of like it's just another it's another he's gonna think of another ruse or something like that and he's gonna figure out another way to steal or to be dishonest you know how much this dude sucks how, how much his on his fucking <laughs> what does it actually say on his uh, on his YouTube channel? No, no, no. On uh, his uh, on YouTube, you can post links. His first one's his Wikipedia. Oh. I don't know why that just bothered me. That's yeah, that's kind of weird. That's sad. Yeah, I, it just it just sucks. It, it's a a general like I remember. Have you so have you actually had something uh, stolen before? And like, have you have you confronted the person? Because I feel like I I had that one time, and it's not actually not that I'm not that I'm overly aware of it. It's actually connected to uh uh your panties cohort and good 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 friend of mine Nate Marshall. Um, Nate Marshall. He uh I was at a, a a mic in Lancaster, and somebody had done a joke of mine. Uh, and afterwards, I went up and I approached him and I said, "Hey, uh." I was like, how, how long have you been doing that joke? And he's like, oh, is that is that yours? And I was just like, is that what he said immediately? Yeah, he said, but no, get this. This is why it's worse. Is I go, I was like, yeah, I was like, actually, I kind of say that exactly word for word and even have that act out. <laughs> and he's like, oh, he's like, oh, I thought it was Nate's. And I was like, what that's was the joke. It was a, uh, it was, I, I made a reference to how drunk I was. And I, I, the reference I made was I was Mortal Kombat finish him drunk where I was going, yeah, yeah, okay. And and then uh and I was like uh I brought that up and then they were like, Oh yeah, no, it's I thought that was Nate's and I was just like, That's not better, dude. That's that's terrible. That's worse. But, yeah, and then I really started to distance myself from that person. <laughs> Wait, type in the private chat who that was. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, you this is the best part. 
Oh, I almost did it in the regular. <laughs> <laughs> Who it was? Yeah. That's so interesting. That's such a weird people. Well, people have um, going back to like the fat Jewish thing. People, uh, people do have like a misconception over what's chill and what's not chill. Yeah, because that's the other thing. Like that's the that's the burden of fucking. Uh, oh wait, let me actually click on it. Uh, wait, really? Yeah, I didn't know if you knew who I was or not. I typed the real name. <laughs> it's so funny him stealing a black dude like joke. look yeah looking right at me like and he was like oh shit i thought that was nate i was like no <laughs> what the f also what are you doing i That's knew so it weird. Did, but i thought it was i stole it from somebody else like it wasn't like oh i i knew i heard it somewhere but i couldn't tell if i heard it like you he was so just getting he was just getting back at nate for fucking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking him up <laughs> <laughs> that's what i thought too but i was like oh, oh yeah I'm gonna fucking those two, you fucking joke. Oh yeah, fucking. I'll show you Mortal Kombat drunk. <laughs> and, and still, by the way, still, I stopped doing it. We all stopped doing it. Like it was one of those things where, like, I if, if even if I do find somebody that's stolen a joke of mine, or even even knowingly took it, like I would still be like, like not like not necessarily you can't you can just have it, but like more of a, well, I don't want to do it because now people are gonna think. I've never had anyone see. I did have Jabri like kind of stole a joke one time, but like Jabri yeah. never did stand up enough for me to like worry about it. Cause I had this really shitty joke where I go, uh, uh, it was about, I was, it was wordplay on the show locked up abroad. And then it was about a lady getting locked up. It was so bad. I can't even, I just remember yeah. I, I, I DL locked up abroad abroad. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I was saying the show was called Locked Up Abroad, and it was just about New York cops arresting women. They're like, what'd you do tonight? I locked up abroad. I God locked damn. up abroad. Dude, that's why I Ooh. tell people, whenever people are like new into comedy and they ask me any sort of advice, I just go, just do jokes, because you're going to, if you get better, you're going to look back at right now and realize you're the least funny person to ever exist. Yeah. It's so funny, because I remember at the time, I was like, dude, this joke's fucking cooking yeah this and joke's you, and, and now and i'm saying it i'm saying it right now wanting to kill myself yeah you heard and we can say it. stuff like that on rumble sorry 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 no you, you heard jabri doing it and you're just like hey man that's my fucking joke and you're just like that's how much you love telling it yeah i i, jabri, I that's my shitty fucking joke it's a shit um yeah. yeah no i did and then yeah that's right i would go i would do locked up abroad abroad that's so fucking bad. That's so funny. Yeah. That was just me understanding joke structure. Cause I think structurally that followed the form of jokes, but audibly it was hot, hot garbage. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah. So we're on rumble. Um, yeah. yeah. And I'm actually, uh, yeah, it's chill over here. I think it's once you figure it out, it's fine. Yeah. It's fucking fine. Yeah. We'll still be doing uh drag the lake on YouTube for the most part. Cause dude, fucking we were cooking last week man oh man we had a, man, so, many, oh. so many people in the chat they were pounding off loving it every second of it not like here <laughs> it's just vibes here there's people yeah. watching but yeah yeah we'll have to oh, yeah I'm not, there's no pounding needed you don't need to pound but you have we'll have fun. once we get a routine going yeah people will flock so i wanted to talk about what did i text you about what i wanted to talk about i know i wanted to talk about candace owens the bridge uh the bridge oh the uh p diddy he said something about wanting to come out of something the closet oh that's what it was yeah it was a closet yeah, yeah. which day it's now i get it yeah i'm gonna i want to okay i want to come out as straight i'm actually mm -hmm. i've been straight this whole time you phony bitch <laughs> oh i gotta be honest i um <laughs> I was looking into well let's just start off with candace owens because the other ones will have to just be wild speculation because i gotta be honest i've been i was busy this week there's so, dude there's so much to the diddy shit. everyone's yeah. a fucking bridge expert i don't know dude yeah, yeah. <laughs> so everything's, everything's all up in the air right now yeah um yeah we'll talk about the, uh, we'll talk about the bridge now the thing with the can so did you look into the candace owens thing at all 
No, you said you said to Candace Owens, and I I wasn't. She was uh, fired from uh, the Daily Wire, LimeWire, LimeWire, right? Yes, yes, yeah. she was. <laughs> she worked she, at so, Casa, and then, so, now she's at LimeWire. So then, she was posting albums, uh, and she labeled them as albums, but it was like hardcore porn. So she got course. fired from LimeWire. Double copyright hit. <laughs> yes, it's a lot of people. A lot of people trying to get the new T Swift album, getting hardcore anal. Didn't like it. Um, no. Oh. Uh, no, the Candace Owens thing was interesting. So basically what happened over what happened recently is um uh when the whole Israel Palestine the new Israel Palestine thing, October seventh happened. Basically Candace Owens was like, Hey, Israel, can you stop killing all those babies? Yeah, enough, <laughs> and enough then, genocide in, huh? <laughs> yeah, can it's real you really I feel you're killing way more babies than you need to. I'm yeah. not going to be I'm not going to be fucking Hitler and say I you can't kill any. I don't have a number or anything, but I feel like the one you're doing is a little too high. It just feels too much. And then uh <laughs> sure ben, double digits, but triple digits. It's yeah, and then uh Ben Shapiro and the Daily Wire were like, "I've never met a more heinous anti-Semitic <laughs> bitch in my life." <laughs> <laughs> and that, but no, so basically there's been like a little back and forth and stuff there was like ben shapiro there's video of ben shapiro at, at like a soiree just like shitting on candace owens and candace owens to her credit who i gotta be honest i'm becoming more of a fan of her i thought when she sort of hit the scene initially didn't come off as like like just to me not I'm, and i'm no one what did i say earlier i'm i'm proficient at thinking yeah. you know i'm not i'm not sitting here proficient yes i'm mentally proficient i'm not sitting here saying i'm the smartest fucking dude in the world i just thought i thought and i thought candace owens may have because like when she first came out i felt like she was doing a lot of the uh you know uh um a colby lot of covington. like what colby covington she, like she would do a lot of tabloidy shit yeah. you know a lot of like outrageous to get your attention shit sort yeah. of what it was similar to like Tommy Loren, but like Tommy Loren didn't age as well. Like Tommy, like I always, I used to, I used to try to make this a joke when Tommy Loren got popular. I was like, if you don't know who Tommy Loren, she's that tiny, adorable white girl who goes on Facebook and was just like, Hey, black people shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was like all of her videos. Yeah. <laughs> and then, but like, and, 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 you know, people like me would be like, yeah, I get it. But like, look at her pinchable cheeks, dude. Uh, she's the prettiest white lady ever. She's adorbs yeah but she kept she kept being a little like tabloidy a little trashy and stuff and i i felt candace owens was a little bit like that when she came out but i think over time i think she's like no i want to be like a real fucking journalist and she's been really up in her game really coming off super intelligent like you know really uh just in my opinion doing a good job so as of lately i've been much more of a fan of like Candace is Owen Candace Owens is shit and um I think she's very thoughtful and all that shit so I've been like checking out her stuff and yeah so she's been having the thing with Daily Wire and oh that's why I said all that is because Ben Shapiro was like this stupid bitch doesn't want us to kill babies and then Candace Owens was, and then Candace Owens was just kind of being very fucking uh upstanding and respectable and very professional where I thought like the Daily Wire and then we're being less professional yeah and then there was like a whole fucking thing and I guess the big blow up um right before she got fired or i forget if it was right before or after she got fired i think it was right before she tweeted so candace owen is a christian ben shapiro and a lot of people at daily wire are jewish and candace owens tweets this like christ is king which is a, 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 how the christians would think i yeah. don't know exactly why but i think that was part of it and then she was eventually out at the daily wire and a lot of people are getting mad about that and you know you fired her for her religion and stuff like that which i'm almost which is kind of like which is fucked up for the daily wire if you want to if you if the daily wire wants to be like you know we're anti-cancel culture it was funny i actually saw someone post a picture of ben shapiro from like 2021 standing in front of this candace owens billboard and it just said candace owens is uncancelable <laughs> it's just like yeah unless it's me in fucking three years <laughs> but no i just thought it was i don't know i had like these mixed things about it where it was like honestly if the daily wire was just being straight up and was just like yo we're jewish as hell over here don't come at us with your Christian bullshit. I would almost be like, yeah, it's like their right to be Jewish as hell over there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was, I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm just I because I think a lot of people. Well, I, I guess what people are getting pissed off about is like the hypocrisy of everything and shit like that. Yeah, I think ultimately it always comes down to that, like where like uh, whether it be like people and people like like to see the people they hate like argue. Do you know what I'm saying? Like they like to turn. Like, everybody's turning on each other. Like you know, you want to see the guy you like own the guy you don't like. Right, but like in this case, if you are if people don't like both people, then they're like perfect great ben shapiro hates candace owens even better because we hate them both but like it is it is it is very hypocritical because they all kind of feel like a lot of the pundits no matter what their religion is like uh conservative pundits in general let's say the independent ones that aren't always they kind of move around to different networks like i I, i'm trying to think of like uh uh what's what the fuck is her name uh the blonde one uh is that tommy loren no, no, I'm trying to think of the, uh, the old one. Ann Coulter. Ann, Ann Coulter. Coulter. You know, uh, Ben Shapiro, I feel like. Um, well, no, Ben Shapiro not, owns the Daily Wire. Well, I know. I know. I'm just saying. But like these these people, a lot of times will say things that are like, you know, not the the mainstream thought or like maybe a, a, a thought in a more of a prickly way. Candace Owens and, and the same thing of like saying things that are like uh just to get the clicks and then they get the attention and then they actually give a considerate like thought out you know reason why they would say something like that they they're they're like living clickbait so like uh, at a certain point when you see them like again in one sense i'm going to stand up for free speech and then in like like you said in within three years time i'm going to actually be turning myself against this person Mm -hmm. because of the things they said and like just in general, not even saying religion or anything, just I, I think just in the hypocrisy of that would be enough for me to turn on the Daily Wire and say, oh, you've changed. You know how like there was that big shift a couple of years ago when like a bunch of uh, conservative people like started hating Fox News, Fox News because they're like, wait a minute, you're just like the other guys. But like, wait, you guys are kind of gay. You're telling us lies because you want us to watch your stuff. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> that's what yeah. they all that's what everybody does it's it's still fox news was still also the media so it, it's it's kind of like it sucks that like now they're like wait a minute canis you're saying some really fucked up shit i don't agree with and it's like yeah that's what we fucking do dude we do that shit and then we explain we show our work we show well, think, why somebody would think something like that well i because th- i think like one of the big things is because i don't even, i don't even think like the crisis king was the main thing i i really no. think it was more I th- really think it was way more the because Ben Shapiro, he's clearly like a very hardcore Zionist uh, pro-Israel person. And I think that was the big part of the thing, you know, Candace, like we were saying before, Candace Owen being like, hey, man, maybe not, maybe not. promote, yeah, maybe. yeah, maybe hard, yeah. maybe, maybe not uh, kill so many babies and stuff like that. But um, so but also th- but like now, because I was thinking about it this way where people because people get like. You know, this is like the this is like the cliched conversation where it's just like, you know, what 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 happened to well wait, I guess there's different levels of this. Cause obviously yeah. obviously Daily Wire and Ben Shapiro are being hypocrites because they're fu- they're basically cosplaying as like freedom of speech people and it's like, Well, you're not. You're yeah. exactly like the people you're exactly like the people you've been owning just on your specific things. Right. But then also at the same time, people will just like you know, in a private business, people will just throw out like, well, Candace Owens has the right to say whatever she wants. And it's like, yeah, but also at the same time, like Ben Shapiro has the right to be like, well, I don't like that thing you say. You can't work for my company anymore. It makes him lame as hell, but he has like the right to say it. It would just it's yeah. just I wish you just weren't a fucking phony this whole time, because I look at it this way. Like, I'm a libertarian. I'm like an anarcho-capitalist libertarian. And it's like if I had a crew like of libertarians and we were trying to be political and you know you you know like like uh, fucking be like a yeah libertarian group and whatever so i was gonna try to make a militia joke and i (laughs) i flat tired myself (laughs) um no but anyway it's like if we're if we're starting a libertarian party of wherever the fuck we live and then like we see people in there and then we find out that there's someone in there who is like a literal communist like it's within our right to be like hey man i don't i don't really think you should be here anymore because you're kind of the you know you're kind of 
completely against everything we believe right but like but like that's fine because we've been presenting ourselves as like we're a libertarian organization why the fuck would we let communists in here it'd be one thing if we were like no we're just a political organization for everyone and so i think you know going on that logic that's how you like that i would be less mad like i i get it it's like the daily wire you don't go against zionist israel shit but like fucking say that stop because yeah. it irritates me i've heard um shout out dave smith i've heard dave smith make this point a lot of times and it's very frustrating as a libertarian you get these people who just take all of our fucking language they'll say freedom and freedom of speech and they'll talk about rights and all this stuff and it's like the libertarian like they take that but then when it comes time to actually like be a principal principled motherfucker they turn they're no better than a pussy progressive and it's just yeah. fucking irritating because libertarians have to spend all this time having so many people being like they're the they just they're just republicans that want to get high and it's like well then if we're so fucking stupid stop stop taking all of our language and shit like that yeah. you know that it's like i ben shapiro has the right to be a fucking idiot just stop acting like you're not a fucking asshole <laughs> it just becomes it, it like it really does end up coming down to like where it every nothing good can stay like nothing like no matter what like nothing is going to be perfect the whole time people change things change and like no matter what if you are if you are touting yourself as a free speech platform that would be like the same thing if we came here to rumble and started streaming and then they flagged us because we made a suicide joke or we were talking about you know doing drugs or something like that like that's that's the thing is like yes you're right it's your platform it's your business you can like let it be known that if you're if you are spouting shit that we disagree with, we have the right to terminate your contract, but you got to let them know that ahead of time. If you are founding this company and saying like that, we are here to, to you hired, you asked me to be here. Like you said this, you know, you have this company and then you hired me to work here. So if you, you hired me on these rules, on these rules, yeah, exactly. Now you're breaking your own rules. Right. So like, it, again, you, you do have the right to do that. It is right. But it's, it's definitely, it's, it's hypocrite. It's not illegal. I don't think. I mean, unless he did specifically fire her for religious reasons. I don't think you're allowed to do that in general, like in America. I mean, like yeah. <clears throat> personal business wise, you could. But like it, it's still a situation where like then I'm going like, OK, so then it does. If Candace Owens sues him for uh, falsely uh, firing her or, or termination or something like that, then is she a hypocrite? Because then she's the one that's like, well, you got like you're using the like we don't ultimately we think we should all i feel like uh there's a lot of uh work for yourself you know pull yourself up by your bootstraps mentality and stuff like that which i agree with find a way to make it work but like if it's a if it's a situation where like they're telling you how it works and then you're doing that and then they fire you anyway then you're right you're no different than any other company or any other yeah. businesses that are just fucking liar and then now you have completely fucked your credibility in my opinion, if anybody that was on the on the uh, uh, hype train for this guy, you're just choosing a team thing over. It's it just dude, it, it sucks that like infighting has like literally gotten down to every single level, like where like uh, liberal people are attacking other liberal people for not being liberal enough on other liberal subjects. And then like conservative people are, are starting to like and and which is actually really more on brand because they are truly independent people. They're supposed to be free thinking people, not necessarily people that tout a party line. And this does feed into that, but also ultimately by doing it the same exact way, every like Fox would do it or MSNBC would do it. Then you're no different. You're just, the, you're just the media. Now. Can I say this? I actually don't necessarily hate the concept of infighting. So, like I think about because uh, libertarians get made fun of a lot of times because we're like infighting a lot. And it's just like, well, you guys got to know we're well, a lot of us are too autistic for our own good. So it's like a lot of like there's just a there's just an army of people going like, well, actually, you know, and it yeah. just so yeah. it does get to a point like I remember um, I remember a while ago, I want to say almost uh, it was six months to a year ago. Um, because basically the, the people running the Libertarian Party, it got, you know, they voted in uh, new people. They had sort of a drastically different uh, method of how they were running everything. And then they were sort of bringing in certain people. And certain people noticed that 
who were kind of a part of it weren't really getting brought in and there was like some people beefing about it because they thought the one guy that they were kind of bringing in versus the other guy that wasn't really getting brought in anymore he thought the guy who wasn't getting brought in thought he should be there and yada 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 vice versa and stuff like that and you hear these people um arguing over like you know how when you hear someone you know you, you hear someone say something and you're re but you really can hear the actual subtext and i remember the guy the guy beefing it was like you could hear his subtext and it's just like because he started to he started to make these very childish personal attacks and you're like oh this is whether he's conscious of it or not it's like no you're just your feelings are hurt and you're yeah. not you're not approaching this like an adult so like in that sense, I agree. Infighting like that is yeah. bad because it's someone taking a personal vendetta and putting it over the group to just try to get themselves over. So yes, yeah. in that sense, infighting's bad. But also I think about it too, like 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 when we do panties and uh people bust our balls in the comments like some of them yeah there's a plethora of like or some actually right now with panties we're in the sweet spot we yeah. have yet to we have yet to really have too many retarded comments we're like right in the sweet spot i was like we're we got we're right before we start hitting the wall of retarded comments but no it's like i'll get joke we'll all get jokes and then there's part of you that wants to get mad but then there's other part of you that'll be like yeah he's right i was being a yeah. fucking i was being a fucking bitch there and yeah. then you take like it's when it, it, it like infighting to me is fine in that context when it's like constructive criticism Tra challenging you and yeah, it if you're keeps, challenging somebody yeah it keeps people honest it keeps people on their toes it keeps people because if, if you're not challenging people um if you're not challenging people like you're gonna get soft and you're not gonna be good you know it's why it's why it's like you know a lot of people online who and i, I don't experience this yet because i'm not like a big i don't have like a big online presence but you see the other people who do and you go i get it sometimes people like when you when you see like a math shitting on someone you know uh and you're not watch you're not reading vince mcmahon transcript court transcripts <laughs> <laughs> i was just funny it's funny you brought that up because i was going to be like do you think this is a work this is my only other thought it was like do you think that this is like her because i don't know if she's leaving that platform oh she, no she, not no. at all you don't think it's like a work you got dude go watch up Ben. go watch ben shapiro right after october 7th happened and he's, he's uh, dude he's the most hardcore locked was it, in was pro, it like he's Dennis like the most he, 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 he's like the most pro hardcore locked in zionist and you can tell like the dude is locked in and if you go against anything of that stuff he's gonna have a fucking problem because he was Dude, he was spe like people would be like, "Hey, hey, how about this uh, reasonable, re reasonable argument on the other side?" He'd be like, "I hope you all die." Yeah. What were you saying after nine eleven? I was gonna. I was saying like uh, Dennis Miller after nine eleven. Like he went from from being like this guy who was like, "Oh, he makes some political comments and he says some other things," but then he went like, "Like, uh, no, nah, shut down the borders, Bobo." <laughs> he went like <laughs> it was just like 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 almost every. Uh, party like and now actually kind of he's pretty much been consistent over the years like where you know how like the everything shifts and then the person's views may like seem to line up with how uh uh like a certain party thinks for a while but then the parties shift again like i think he just kind of like has stayed pretty consistently independent over the years but at, in, at, a, at a time was was falling more in line like uh like thoughts and feelings wise as like a conservative person but like i still i never thought he was like too heavy-handed or like too like shock shocky or anything like that you know what i mean like it was it was never like you were just trying to like and took and culture always felt like wrestling to me uh candace owens kind of feels like wrestling to me sometimes ben shapiro just seems like nerdy but like educated and yeah and there's a uh, neil degrasse tyson like stuck up kind of like even if you are right i don't give a shit i don't well, want to they have they this is an educated guess because i don't want anyone to sue me but they, uh, the educated <laughs> guess i'm almost certain they have something on him because he's i have you seen the Ooh, shit of neil, neil, neil degrasse tyson oh dude watch him watch him talk about uh the vaccine and yeah, I'm not that. saying you got to feel one way or the other about the vaccine, but when you're Neil deGrasse Tyson, who is like, I think, I think that dude gets distracted because he clearly wants to be famous. Like he'll yeah. do, he'll just like, he'll do a bunch of corny shit. It's like, 
you're a celebrity then a scientist you know what i mean or whatever yeah, he is an he, astrologer yeah but he's i'm not gonna sit here and go like oh he's a dumb guy i just think he's clouded by his ego and dude i've seen clips of him talking about the vaccine and it's not i'm not even saying like oh you can't be like I'm not even like a, oh, the vaccine's a bioweapon and shit like that. Like, I'm not I'm not even one of those guys. But I'm not saying you have to be, like, hardcore anti-vax. No. It's fine. If you if you think it's good, good for you. Um, but also, when you're on shows repeatedly just saying, like, you're just towing the company line with what the government would say, yeah. it makes me think you're fucking compromised. Yeah, and because he doesn't do that with any, like, it, but that's the thing is he also does the same thing with like the moon landing shit, like all this other stuff where he's just like, where you're like, okay, so there's other, there's other aspects to this that like people bring up and like, he's willing, we've talked about this plenty of times or, uh, uh, or actually, no, I, I was talking about this. I, I know I've personally talked about it a bunch of times where he loves shitting on fucking points. He is a, he, his favorite thing in the world is to go to a podcast or a sh radio show or something like that and field questions with like the utmost the disdain and just like yeah. just loves to do that. So like you said, if there's a situation where you're like, hey, so are there links to this? And he's just like, no, vaccines are the best thing in the world. Short term vaccines are even better than long term vaccines. And, all, and it's just like, uh, like, wait a minute, you like shitting on everything. <laughs> Your favorite thing is to shit on everything. So two things he always like is like that's exactly how it happened. Is the moon landing and vaccines is like where you're like you're like wait so and 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 anytime somebody brings up a conspiracy and he's like you really think that the government could and you're like Ooh. wait a minute whoa 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 what you're a scientist it yeah. is possible. it is absolutely possible you know it's a, it's, possible. it's your it's your job to poke holes in things man right. the moon landing the moon landing's a good one because i'm not i'm not convinced of the moon landing one oh either way i, don't I know. do i will say i think they're like if you just think about the current moment in time like it was super important for us to beat the russians and shit like that right yeah there there's the the moon landing theory the moon the 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 moon landing didn't happen conspiracy theory there's a lot like the 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 timeline that they lay out of like you know stanley kubrick did it and we faked it and all this other yeah. shit there's absolute incentive for the government to right. do that it makes sense that's but, not crazy that's not a crazy conspiracy theory well and on top of that there's like little things with the moon landing where first off i'm gonna need someone to explain me how every time i watch local news there's a fucking four second delay when they throw it to them but right. in the fucking 60s they can talk back and forth easy on the moon, on the moon. I'm not I'm saying they moon. I'm not saying they couldn't do it. Just you need to fucking tell me how. But I mean, um, how that works better? Yeah. How how my my Sirius satellite doesn't work if I'm under in a tunnel for two seconds. But if they're in, you know what I mean? Like you're in yeah. fucking Texas and they're yeah. in the moon. <laughs> and then the other one that always makes me laugh is they had like the, they apparently had footage of them doing of like building the ship and doing test runs and stuff like that. And then they're like, all right, where's the footage? They're like. Ah, sorry guys, we taped over it. You're like, Lost you taped it. over it? Lost it. We don't know what happened. Yeah, there's a Super Bowl. You see the one with the titty? Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like one of those things of like, yeah. So yeah, where they're just like, oh, so one second they're bumbling idiots, and the next time they're masterminds. It's like, no, they're both. <laughs> well, and this this actually, sorry, this actually is a great segue into the bridge conversation because mm -hmm. when people talk about conspiracies, this is my barometer for like you're choosing to be a certain way rather than just trying your best to take in the info and then react to it because uh like with the moon landing fucking oh who did this trump or obama i think, I think it was tr obama no, oh, wait, no 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 trump didn't do that uh, no oh, it was clinton clinton did this one oh, if you had a pen in your hand it would be bob dole bob dole does this because he had the stroke hand all right i don't want to be clinton i'll be bob dole okay, bob um dole. Bob dole. but uh was that clinton the, the thumb thumb was yeah and in, in the lip bite this right here yeah because he was thinking about kids butts he's just like i just put my thumb right there oh, i can't wait to finish this speech and go and then i press the thumb in mm, and then i drink all their blood i just melt <laughs> 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 um fuck. oh yeah so my barometer of like you're towing the company line you're choosing to because like you'll see it when you bring up certain things and you see the person 
actively doing like no 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 like they may not literally be saying that but whatever they're saying symbolizes that the like yeah. nope 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 we all have to agree on this because if you bring this up and make a logical argument it will crumble my worldview so we can't have that in this certain moment because i'm not mentally prepared to have my worldview crumbled but no right. if like so the moon landing is a great example if someone brings up the moon landing and your response isn't after you you know, if you don't know that shit, I completely get you being like, are you fucking crazy? Van, you, the Van Allen radiation belts, the fucking like all if, the if the you've computing. heard yeah. if you've heard the arguments and if your response isn't, I know why I know why you might think it's a, a fake, but here's why it's not fake. That's a that's a reasonable person I can deal right. with. Right. And that's well, my thing. But if their end of that sentence is here's why it's real, because it is. And it's like, well, Wait, what? Like, no, no, no. You can't just say it is real. You have to sh like, can we, I gave you some reasons why it could not be real. Can you please give me some reasons why it could be? I was like, actually doing that too. Sorry. So I'm reading this. Uh, where's the book? I'm reading that program to kill book. Did I tell you about that? No, not yet. I'm reading, I'm reading this program to kill. The short version of it is uh, serial killers aren't real. They're all Manchurian candidates. Oh, no, um, you did tell me about that. Yeah. yeah. Me, I, don't, I don't think I knew the name, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the funny part about the book is so there, the first thing that gets brought up is this, uh, it's this like famous story uh, about the McMartin preschool where there are apparently like seven of the teachers or whatever, or caregivers or whatever you'd call them in the preschool were like um, – molesting and raping kids and doing like satanic rituals and yada 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 all that stuff and then uh the other thing was this the other thing they bring up in the book was a serial killer henry lee lucas and about he's like the most prolific serial killer he killed like hundreds of people and this and that and both of those so i'm telling steph about it steph's not hip to my parapolitical extra schizo version of all this shit yeah. and steph's super familiar with like true crime and all that stuff so she's super familiar with these things and she goes so this makes me laugh immediately the two the two crazy things brought up in this book are she the the agreed canon you know in the world is Oh, those are all, those were pretty much made up and super overblown and shit like that. So, and I haven't gotten deep into the book. So I immediately go, I go, huh, yeah, that's what they want you to think. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the best way to respond to anyone to be like, well, that's exactly what they want you to think. Yeah. Like it's, it, it is easy sometimes. Like when you think about like uh, uh, all the possibilities. Fucking, fucking with her like that. Like, he, he, like no matter what of like having this uh, uh, like weird thing when when the subject does come to uh, a thing that you're like currently interested in or very much interested in general, like the Kennedy assassination. Oh, dude, and you're autistically just, you're just like, fucking yeah, break. But, yeah, but there's that. Uh, what about the fact that the second shot over there? What about the pristine bullet? What about that? You know, it's all this other shit. And you're like, uh, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> Where at this point, I am convinced that there was a there was a plot that was brought out i don't know if it was if it was from the, the if the government directly did it i think the government had an involvement in it but also uh the fact that how many other entities would again same thing with the moon landing there it it makes more sense for me to it makes more sense to me that this was not a horrific uh happenstance this was a it, this was in or, or in the sense that the uh, moon landing it wasn't just a lucky break that we happened to get there first it was a thing of we had to establish dominance and we figured out how to fake it first so maybe they did make it but i don't i still don't think the footage we saw is literally that i don't know if i believe it 100 but i i don't necessarily subscribe to this is how it was done i don't think we'll ever find out about the president i don't think we'll ever find out about the moon landing fully unless until we die possibly bro did you watch <laughs> You got to watch the uh, octopus murders on Netflix. I started it. I started Bro, it. Bro, yeah. it's because I've watched um, like Netflix a year ago or so put out a Waco documentary. And I'm like pretty, I'm pretty good on Waco. Waco's we like do one a live I, episode from there, by the way. We should do a, a an episode of No. Oh, I'm definitely going to. I'm Dude, you and me got to do a day Allison. trip. Yeah. Dude, we got to do a day trip. Te Austin's like an hour, hour and a half from Waco, and it's like three hours from Dallas. We can go watch. Oh, my God. If we get to go to Dallas, dude, oh, my God. I'm going to fucking piss my butt. 
possible. It's super possible. I'm going to pee. It's not even going to touch my lap. It's going to go around my lap and it's just going to hit my anus. <laughs> I'm going to poke it. In, I'm going to poke it inside like I'm a drag queen and piss out my ass. And they're going to ask me to leave Texas and I'm going to go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I haven't finished this book for these kids. Let me finish pissing my ass. Dude, you know what my favorite critique of the uh, drag queen story hour is? Why do you want to do it? Well, no, people just go, people, people go always, they always bring up the point. They're like, you never see them wanting to read for the elderly, elderly. What's that about? And I'm just like, that's a good point. You guys never want to read. You never want to hang out with old people, but also old people would probably be like, get my fucking gun. Yeah. Yeah. Especially (laughs) old old people wouldn't like, they wouldn't put up with it. Essentially children are still going to, it's going to be the same response either way, but you can overpower children. You can't necessarily overpower adults. Yeah. Well, and also too, with the kids, you just have their, like, you just go to like fucking San Francisco and their fucking crazy ass parents will be like, like throw their kid at you. And they're like, please grind on them, please. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, no matter what they're just like the kids are actually going up to the drag queens and just being like hmm so you just dress up like this you're not even transitioning pussy so yeah dude just a little kid be like you're a faggot <laughs> <laughs> but can you imagine can you imagine like a progressive san francisco parent just like winging kids at them like fucking yeah. dance on them <laughs> god damn it i'm not even gonna look just, just consider yourself let's do role playing you're at uh you're a producer at nickelodeon uh right now here's my son goodbye <laughs> Um, oh, the reason I wanted to transition into the bridge thing is like, now I, I don't even know where to fucking start with this bridge. Cause like when it first came out, when it first came out, I got to tell you the first two days of the bridge, we're talking about Baltimore bridge, obviously oh, yeah. first two days of the bridge. I was like, yo, I think this, cause the conspiracies were coming out hot right away. Like the, the, the main thing. Oh yeah. I had this tweet. Uh, cause this is the. Okay, this is actually the first stage of what I want to talk about with this bridge shit. Not even talking about facts or anything about it, but, like, just specifically talking to, you know, the fellas like us, trying to figure out if the moon landing's real, shit like that. The real You know, yes. (laughs) We're we're street street scientists. Yeah, I learned my science on the fucking street. Mentally proficient. I go with my gut. I don't think they made it to space, so they didn't make it to space. Okay, I I can't understand how they would make it there, so there's no way they fucking did it. Yeah, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> but uh, oh yeah. So the first thing on the bridge that, and I, I've seen this with a lot of shit, is like going back to what we were saying earlier. I completely understand all the very conspiratorial schizo reflexes. We all had them we all had them like you see a bridge yeah. collapse everyone goes like but then just happened but yeah. you gotta sit you gotta sit there and go like well what do i know and like yeah. so this was the shit that this was the initial shit that i got irritated i already don't like this guy so maybe i came in a little hot but you got andrew tate going this ship was so- this ship was a cyber attack uh lights go off and it deliberately steers towards the bridge supports foreign agents uh of the u.s attack digital infrastructure nothing is safe black swan event imminent (laughs) and which i don't even know if that like dude legitimately like cyber attacks are real like have you ever heard have you ever heard of uh uh ransomware yeah 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 Yeah, yeah. what i think you explained it to me i think you were the person that actually explained ransomware oh yeah, so like, uh, there will be there's this thing called ransomware that hackers will like. I read an article about it where they hacked into this uh, hospital's, um, they hacked into this hospital's system and they basically locked them out of it. And they're like, "Yo, pay us this money, or you won't get back into your system." And which is a thing like, if that goes unattended to for long enough, like I don't know exactly what it stops. Like I don't know if it turns off machines or what. Or like they just they just can't do their job, you know. Oh, yeah. is someone do I, is someone going into fucking cardiac arrest or or some or their levels are lowering? I have to Who? order. A- How are we supposed to know? Who? <laughs> Who is? Tell Who me. is? But no, something as simple as like, oh, someone's whatever the fuck just dropped. I need to order this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're not gonna this be able to pissing do. In his, in his own butt over here. We gotta get a. <laughs> get a How's part. the piss coming out of his butt? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's going in his butt. He's pissing out of his penis. Everything's fine there, but it's going into his butt. 
paddles. <laughs> Into his butt, out of his butt. Yeah, dude. Get Narcan. Why do we need Narcan? <laughs> I don't know. I've never Get seen me Narcan. He's pissing out his butt. Google it. I can't. The computers are down. <laughs> Like Damn, dude, the, you're gonna, you're I'm gonna, gonna laugh a fart out of me. We're fucking cooking. Um, <laughs> you guys, this is we just want to show you a recreation of exactly how this can happen to we, you. We just want you guys to know, dude, we're serious political people, and we need, <laughs> he's Chris, out. we're serious, okay? And that's so funny. Around. Piss is coming out of his ass. Get the Narcan. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I put it? Google it. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, but either and then you know, so cyber attacks are real. It's a real, yeah. It, but, but like, I did the math on this dude's post, and I'm like, this shit happened at like two in the morning, Baltimore time. I yeah. did the math on his. But he tweeted this five hours after it happened, I, and it's like you don't, you can't know that. So, so my thing is, is speculation is one thing to say like this is a possibility. And it's not out of the realm of possibility, especially so on Twitter, there's a, a, a I don't know if it's like a popular I, I, it is a popular thing. The breaking news 911 thing or something like that. Is that I the think, black guy who tweets? I, maybe. I don't know. It, it, it's like, oh, it's, you mean the account? Oh, there's this. The account, yeah, there's this one. Sorry. There's this one dude who um he got popular is this black dude with dreads. He got popular because he'd be like, all right, this guy's getting exposed tonight. And then everyone would like it and share it. And then he just like, he just like wouldn't expose him. <laughs> and then, and then he kept doing it. And then a lot of people, and he got like suit. It was funny. I remember I followed him forever ago and he was like, dude, he had like a couple thousand and he's gotten himself up to like a million plus. And then people started to really see that he's genuinely just fucking with people because he was like, when the Jewish tunnels thing was happening, he's like, all right, yeah. I got, he's like, I got the hookup. I'm going into the tunnels. And then they were just, they were just walking around the subway. Like they were just walking, <laughs> <laughs> they're just walking around the subway. He's just trespassing. <laughs> yeah. And then he found, he posted a tweet right after that saying like he found an entrance to one of the tunnels and he literally just showed, um, the fuck, uh, what whatever it's called, the 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 pathway to get into the basement of like a deli. Uh -huh. He just, I forget what the the with the two big doors. He just showed that. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's raw alerts is the name that I was trying to I was trying to think of. So like so, mass mass casualties declared after Maryland bridge attack or collapse. Sorry, excuse me, but that's on March 26th. You know what I mean? Like so, uh, obviously there were not mass casualties. It was. I, I think maybe a handful of workers, I think, or well, something like that. That I don't even that, know for sure if they didn't get off the bridge. That I was curious about. What is it? Raw's raw alerts. So so the thing the thing I wanted to bring up with him was the fact that like so the reason I would understand so, if this was somebody would think that this is an, an attack is because I see a lot of times from this raw alerts account, I'll just get it randomly out of nowhere. Like every I feel like anytime I check Twitter, there's a new breaking story of a a uh, chemical fire or a uh, plant uh, or fire at chemical plant in in Idaho or uh, 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 a train derailed with all these uh, chemicals in uh, Pennsylvania. Another one did this East Palestine, uh, whatever, you know, that one that all the fucking uh, shit spilled off the, the train and everything like that. I feel like all of these things that are these power plants and these chemical factories and all these other things that are blowing up. I'm like, why? I personally am looking at just seeing all these reports. It's not being reported this way. It's just saying, oh, this is an isolated uh, uh, incident. This is an isolated incident. But I'm seeing specifically chemical manufacturers and other power plants being attacked. This being a huge infrastructure or a big uh, 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 import, port. a port, yeah, for for uh, for supplies or you know i'm sure more chemicals or something like that it does seem like there are you could read into it a lot and say there are these are all coordinated attacks that are just chipping away at a foundation before an invasion but then everybody else is like the borders are open it's already an invasion so like i think if if you're talking about uh black ops or if you're talking about fucking conspiracies or uh, or cyber attacks or anything i think you're i think if what's his face tate is correct like you're late <laughs> it's been happening it's not just this it's not anything else you know what i mean 
So I feel like with this particular, if it's a conspiracy, you have to believe a lot of other things before you get to this being. I guess my thing, accident, you know, my thing with the Andrew Tate, thing, like with that Andrew Tate tweet and people making tweets like that, it's like, okay, perfect example was we talked about before, right after October 7th happened, you see Israeli news coming up saying like, oh, Hamas beheaded 40 babies. Yeah. And, you know. Like I even I I just had um Jose Galasan from the No Way Jose podcast. We talked about MK Ultra and stuff, and this came up. That's probably why it's like uh, in my head and shit. But like I I remember he even tweeted about it the day it happened. He goes, I I forget what he tweeted, but it amounted to like I smell bullshit, which yeah. is like the because if you know the history of stuff like that, I forget which war it was, but there was this famous like this girl went in front of a. Uh, congress or the senate or whatever and she was talking about how iranian soldiers were going into hospitals and throwing babies out of incubators and shit and then yeah. it came forth that years later like that literally was just all completely made up that girl worked for a marketing firm like they were yeah. just making shit up so we'd go into a war so like a lot of people who are familiar with that history and shit when they saw the 40 babies they were basically like this reminds me of that shit it's, this it's is familiar. Yeah. This smells like bullshit. And which to to me, I just go like, dude, and I'm not, like I said, I'm no fan of Andrew Tate, but if he just saw that and goes, this smells like, I was like, this feels like this. That's completely, that's completely acceptable and completely like a smart way to approach it. It's just yeah. all these people who, cause there's something, there's something intoxicating about presenting yourself as a hundred percent certain. It makes you seem yeah. authoritative. It, th it makes you seem knowledgeable and all this shit but you know and a lot of people don't notice when you're wrong a bunch of times but if you just keep doing stuff like this you're gonna end up being wrong like a lot you're gonna look yeah. shitty and you're gonna fucking like discredit yourself and i think and it's the reason why i'm into a lot of this shit and i think the way i think is because i think i'm more right than other people are like yeah. I would, if i thought i was wrong i would think a different way well, so no. when i see these people who i go you're all probably right but can we stop being so fucking sloppy with how we present ourselves because you know i don't know people who would be more inclined to thinking the way we think are just gonna go oh you're all a bunch of fucking retards and oh. honestly you can't blame them sometimes because you're all acting like fucking retards i think there's a per there's a point where like I, I think there's a there's a fault with people having faith and and it's not just with religion but i feel like with with everything at a certain point whether it be if you're on both sides. So like, I think that it's not just the way, um, like you said, the people like us think though it's, it's, it, or it's, or it's uh, sorry. It is clearly the way we think is the, is why I feel like it's not wrong. It's not like, it's not wrong to question things and not ever just go like, yeah, that's just how, it, that's just how it is because I mean, we all, we all are guilty of it. But like, ultimately if you're, questioning things but you're willing to accept answers that you're given so like with us we're like hey so uh with moon landing with uh uh with the kennedy assassination with any of these other like bigger conspiracies that have kind of grown over time speaking to somebody even if you're somebody that's like yeah but then this happened and then th this happened and then you're just like but like how come it didn't keep happening how come this didn't, you know what I mean? You ask those kind of questions and they're just like, well, why would we go back to the moon? It's like, I, I don't, I mean, why did we go there in the first place? Like, well, I, it, Also, you know, if you figured out how to go to the moon, you're going to keep going well, back. Yeah, you're going to continue to go nonstop and you're going to figure out a cheaper way. Like how come everything else got to a point where like, how can we just figure out how to broadcast pictures into people's homes? Like you figured out how to do it and then you expanded on it and you made it easier and better. Why yeah. didn't, why didn't it go that way? It's just a logical good question to ask but you're you're poo-pooed as a as an idiot because you're like how come and how come we didn't see the 40 babies you know what i'm saying like it's one of those things where like they specifically said the president said oh i saw the the photos of the 40 babies and then like later on was like i never said that and it's like what what are we doing here like the what? 40 babies one the 40 babies one was funny because the girl who initially said it was like yo there's 40 babies with their heads cut off and, 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 but then, and, then, they, and then people were like was there and she was like right. and then she immediately goes well i mean someone told me that i didn't right. see it. <laughs> and, like, and it comes down to like and then it's just that thing where like the same thing with like 
it's 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 how conspiracies are born it's when you it's when if if somebody just asks a question and they're just like there isn't a logical answer to it and then eventually the person who believes it and doesn't think there's a conspiracy goes like it, look man like it is just no evidence for it okay and yeah. it's just like they, and it, it's it's there's a weird thing with people like us because the fact that we're like but why you know what yeah. I mean? Like we just go like, why? Like it's not necessarily that I one hundred believe one hundred percent believe it is a hundred percent fake or this was a hundred percent something else. It's just the fact that I can't, I don't have faith in either side. I can't ever go. I can't just go like, well, you know, I I don't. I mean, realistically, would a would a government conspire to kill their own leader? And it's like, yes, yes. it literally happens. We all do. of the time <laughs> we go to other countries to help them do that yeah <laughs> so like so like the logical question then becomes did we not like no we wouldn't do that you know what i'm saying like oh yeah. you mean back in the day when it was a lot easier to fake stuff like moon landings you know what i mean like it, yeah that's just well also weird. too we don't, we don't it's so it, it's not that it stops ever it's just they figure out how to do it another way so yes in connection to all these other explosions i could go yeah this might be a conspiracy but also like like let's just wait a little bit and see let's find out what they're if they are going to lie to us let's find out what the lie is well, first that, and then uh, we'll work it out yeah to what you just said one of the things you just said too where um you were saying about them getting away with it. That's the other thing you start to notice. You start to notice they like the conspiracies and the processes like start to shift over time. Cause like, dude, back in the fucking sixties, you can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> and like, no one's going to have video of it. There's not like anything happens today, bro. Anything like when the bridge shit happened, I can't tell you how many tweets I saw of like everyone just copy and pasting breaking this bre yeah. you're like yeah, yeah. I love it I love it when I'm not going to say the show cuz I fucking love the show and it's more of a it's more of just a fucking busting balls than anything but there's just one show I love and one of the co-hosts on it is he's just the dude on the show and yeah. he even goes breaking bridge fell and you're like I think I think people saw it before they got to you. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're not breaking news. You're not, it's, it's no matter what it's, it's a, it's a weird thing where like you're, you want to be involved. Everybody saw it. It's weird. And then now that nobody died really. Right. I, I'm pretty sure nobody died. Right. Uh, a couple of people died. There was dudes working on the bridge. Uh, you know what the, you know what the awful iron, they were on the bridge filling in potholes. Um, weren't they on their break too? It wasn't like they were on there. It was like they were sitting. Oh, I don't know. So this is this is the part that I got to say also is even with all due respect to the lives lost on that bridge. There was time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. Like the, the, the cop. No, the cops had enough time to stop traffic on the bridge. There was a war. There was a mayday signal from the, the ship as it was approaching the bridge that the police officers heard. So they stopped traffic on the bridge. If they have enough time to stop cars from going on the bridge, why couldn't they go like, hey, BT dubs, guys, eat your sandwich just a little bit more that way? You know what I mean? Like, couldn't you go? What What were they, were they so dedicated to the potholes that they were like, well, we can't just get off the fucking bridge? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm, I mean, I don't, hate I don't want to victim blame, but like, yeah, you are going out of your way to be like, this is why I don't feel bad about their deaths, but that's it's just, just, it's like a useless death at this point. Like yeah. it's completely, it's it was, we say it, we see it sped up. We see the weird, sped it's up. Weird, it's a weird point to make that hustle up boys. Get off the bridge. <laughs> You're like, just so you guys know, these are the deaths I don't feel bad about. <laughs> Look, you're on, unless they were like actively running off the bridge as it happened. Like, what? No, but it's going down. Ah. You know what I mean? Like, but if they're just sitting there going, like, what's going on? Like, guys, yeah, wake up. yes, you're right. Your construction Pat. workers love standing around. <laughs> well, no, you know, you know what they got to do. One guy runs off the bridge while three just watch him. <laughs> I'll hold the sign. You go ahead. Slow. <laughs> There's no cars. But I'm gonna just hold the sign. I'm getting paid to hold the sign. Oh, yeah, I, I was like, I'm not clocking out. If I get off this bridge, they're not gonna fucking pay me my whole shift. Fuck that. I'm staying right here. And it's just like, dude, you gotta go, man. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I'm all about incentives, and there's big incentive to get off a bridge if you're aware it's gonna collapse. So I get I, I, on the bridge. I get. I got to <laughs> imagine the bridge is a fucking mile and a half long. I got to imagine they weren't alerted quick enough. I, you know, well, you we, know, no, they were just—they were Pat. They were just being lazy bums. Yeah, get off the what? 
The fridge? There's no fridge here. Well, what I was actually. No fridge, I was no fridge. <laughs> I was watching the video back, and it is. I was thinking about it. I was like, they had because if the first thought you think you go, they had time to get off the Lots bridge. But then if you think about it, like if you're on that bridge, yeah. there's like a part of you that like in that moment you're like, they're not gonna hit it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No way. Where's the fucking guy going? Well, oh, so no way. and you're just like, and you're like, that, Damn. <laughs> those that was that's a part of uh that reminds me of two conspiracies I saw. Because here's my thing, I don't know. I my initial reaction was like, this might just be a thing. Oh, to that I also say, I noticed this, and I started to realize this on these big events like this. I saw a lot of people making the point online. They were like, yo, guys, you need to chill. Sometimes freak occurrences happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought about that, and I go, they really don't. Yeah. On large scale, because I've watched enough documentaries where there will be an incident, it will be a huge catastrophe, and it will be like, how did this happen? How did this happen? And then they go throughout the documentary and go, well, there was about 97 warning signs. <laughs> yeah. And I was like reading something on the bridge, and apparently it passed an inspection the day before and things like that. They had a crew that was from another country, which means they're not familiar with the tight like they're not familiar with the waterway and how the like how the the current is and stuff like that which that could also be a problem i'm not deep into shipping enough i did um i did yeah. follow this new channel pat i found this dude there's this one guy that is gonna be the fucking man just because this uh there's this channel I found called here. Let me show you what this is. This made me laugh thinking about this today, but there's this channel where it's called what is going on with shipping. And <laughs> if you see, <laughs> and if you see all of his old videos, Oh, he's got a few bangers, but he's got a few bangers, but they mainly sit around like uh, 50,000 views. Nice. And then I was just like, Oh, this guy's, this is this ties time to shine. And his first video about the incident is like 3.2 million. Oh man. Um, but yeah. Oh, and also I trust, uh, what's his name? Uh, give him a shout out <laughs> on the pod. Um, he didn't say his name, whatever his fucking name is. Uh, what's, what's go What is going on with shipping audio quality? Not bad, but not good no razzle dazzle doesn't edit anything out and mm -hmm. i'm like oh this guy knows what he's talking about okay yeah 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 because yeah. that's what that's what you, a lot of people want razzle dazzle in their videos and you go no 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 if you want an expert you want monotone way of talking low quality video low and quality list. camera list uh audio from a head head headset microphone and then yeah. that's that's how you know he knows what he's talking about in inadvertent asmr like that's like yes. Anyway, yes. this next video is gonna be about the bridge and uh, so it's just gonna. Be so it's like that weird. Like okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, can you just pull it away from your mouth a little bit? <laughs> yeah, dude. Just right up in there. <laughs> you do. You do hear this, right? When you talk like this, and, uh, and actually, if a lot of people, it's funny that you say the thing about like, oh, it could be the the foreign crew on the ship. But I, I tell you, I again, Andy, I know this is a weird thing, but if you bring me to any foreign country, I feel very confident that if I'm walking into a room and I see a wall, I know to not walk into that wall. Like so, like if they're on a big ship and they're like, hey, we're going towards that bridge and they go like, well, what should we do? Well, definitely don't hit that big fucking beam right there. And I think we're good. Just go well, for I one think... of the empty parts with all the water. <laughs> well, that's not what I'm saying. Right. I'm not saying they're in there just be like, do we hit the beam, Captain? <laughs> do we hit the bridge? Or... It's customary in India where we're from to hit the bridge. <laughs> no, no. Get the fuck out of the way. That's not what I'm saying. If, that, if, that's I'm saying... if we get the report at the end of this and they're like, turns out they're from India. They don't know not to hit bridges there. <laughs> it's like, what? It's actually in their constitution, hit bridges. Yeah, they, no, they love more, cows and they love hitting bridges. Those two hey, things I'd about say that I'd say the same thing about a crew from California. They don't right. know the chop. They're not familiar with the chop. <laughs> they're good with the chop. Yeah, they're just yeah. riding, they're riding on the wrong side of the road or something like that. <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna back it up. Yeah. No, um, no, my favorite. That that was just some things people threw yeah. out. Yeah, I, yeah. You know me. I'm I'm racist. Uh, so what, 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 hey, you know, I would uh, I would understand if it was a boat filled with women only. Yeah, <laughs> of course you don't know how to drive. 
there were people saying that though they not about women but they were like they were like oh there were uh indian people on the boat well that's what happened and you're like what yeah yeah what yeah, yeah the, say, the same yeah say that when you want to get your fucking heart fixed <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah dude when my heart's not beating well i want an all indian crew right. in there right. you know what i'm saying like if it, if it was an all asian crew there's no way they had a problem with the computers <laughs> do you know what i'm saying like, I, there's no fucking way I'm, that's what i'm saying it's about chop yeah it's about the it's chop about, it's about chop not about the computers they fucking the, the computers are gonna go down they're gonna be like we gotta call tech support they're gonna be we needed, like we're here we needed less we needed less mit we needed more deadliest catch that's what we're that's the problem <laughs> we need some crash yeah, dude out there here's the thing we need a white, little bit <laughs> whites know about chop yeah <laughs> Ah, the Cotter fighting today. We need to go left. That's court. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just um, don't, I don't think that I, I think in general, I don't think this was necessarily a conspiracy unless it is con connected to all those other crazy weird attacks at like, oh, it's a chemical factory. Oh. Well, so I want to get yeah, exactly. I want to get deeper into it because um the conspiracies I've seen thrown out, you're just like, you're being lazy right yeah, this, now. Yeah, this is so dumb. They're just so like, the, black yeah. ops. They, like all the hashtags that, that fucking Andrew Tate did. It was like, black ops, pelican brief, uh, fucking. Like, <laughs> all right, <laughs> porn <buddy>. ultimatum. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I no, I saw... this is one of the coolest fucking things. This does kind of have Tower 7 feel for sure, because it doesn't look like it doesn't look to me like there is enough for it to con completely break everything down i don't know a lot about bridges uh, uh, despite my autism but i will say that i i you're do more of a you're more of a trains on the big train guy i like a choo-choo you know what i mean <laughs> I'm, a choo -choo guy. I'm more of a choo-choo guy not a, a tugboat boop, boop. <laughs> well know. i'm he, okay so let's talk about like well i was laughing too where people were just like so wow a bridge can really just fall like that i go yeah yeah, when you, you take out one up? of the, when you take out one of the three pillars, it yeah. will fall. So you're saying so that, if I just knock one of these legs off this table, it's just gonna fucking fall over? Yeah, yeah. So that that was the first one I kept seeing where they're like bridges just fall like that. That it's crazy that that bridge just fell like that. You're like, yeah, the, you took out one of the main pillars, and gigantic. there's only like four. It was the freight liner that smashed into it. That, that was well, that was a big part of it. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find a picture of this ship, but that's like the thing too, where people are like, people are like, really? You think that ship's going to fucking break? Th and you're like, did you see how big the ship was? Freight liners don't melt steel, steel beams. Okay. <laughs> um, but no, like the, well, cause here's the thing too. Those containers on the fucking ship. They're big, man. I unload those every goddamn day at work. They're <laughs> fucking big. There's a lot of material in a lot that. Of humans in there. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people getting sex trafficked. Yeah, they're maybe, fucking, so maybe, their thrusts are pushing the ship forward. Maybe that's the mass casualties when the bridge fell on all those crates and killed all those Asian people that were stuck in those crates. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that'd be so fucked. Yeah, if we find out that like legitimate fucking people were in there, and probably not because those those containers gets that's probably actually like an an inefficient way to human traffic because <laughs> those crates get like locked shut. All right, yeah. okay here's a good shot of it I, ju I just found it here's a good shot of it so like th this is my thing like look how big it is yeah pause like but <laughs> <laughs> like that's and like dude all of those containers are probably more or less full with a bunch of heavy shit in there so like the fact that like oh that really could just break that i go look at that man yeah it yeah. could yeah yeah that's crazy. it's it's like and not to mention this i can't believe it's still there <laughs> Let's move it along. You can't park there. One of my favorite things to do, Andy, and I suggest that you do this. And I want to see these. I love this. What you're it's about my to say. Favorite thing to do. I do it too. It's it's I've whenever seen it online. It's, it's so funny. You see an accident or you see somebody like that's like that's in this nasty, crazy fucking accident. And then you just slowly drive past them. You roll your window down. You go, you can't park here. <laughs> Last thing they need in the worst moment of their day. It's the, hey, so I don't funny. Know, you know this, but you can't park here. It's so right. funny. It's the best like, feeling in the world to say that to somebody because the rage that fills their eyes. Oh, right? and they're justified. If you oh, get yeah. assaulted, oh, yeah. if, you, if you get assaulted after that, they're right. 
I hope I die like this because that would be, I would die laughing at because it feels so good to laugh at them after that because it's so mad. So just so going funny. up to the guy, you just be like, hey, is it Captain anyone? You can't, I don't know if you guys know, you can't park that boat here. I, every time I see those videos online, it makes me laugh so fucking hard just because it's, yeah, it's just people. It just. <laughs> Dude, me, cra- like you crashed Arthur. your car, you're wor- you you have to pay a million dollars to get it fixed. Probably, <laughs> you have to worry about if you're gonna get arrested. Yeah, and then and just some guy going, you can't park here. Yeah, you can't park here. I don't know if. But you here, know. so here's the right when it hits. Yeah, you see that's that right there. Thing. Yeah. That's so like- you see like the water pop up. Yeah. Because it and like then, literally the back the, that's hit the water hitting the back of the boat it like splashes up against it. Yeah, that was the other that was the other conspiracy I saw that I was like you guys just might be dumb on this one because it's yeah. they were like that's clearly a controlled demolition. I go, it's water. There's water. Yeah. If anything, if somebody says that, I guess that's my point. So, you know, earlier when I was just saying that, like, if if it doesn't completely fit this narrative or like you can't. You just eventually just go like it is. It's it's the faith part of it. It's like the thing of like, well, what's the proof of uh, God? It's like, well, you and the fact that uh, Earth is inhabited. And it's like, wait, you can't just take credit for that in hindsight. But it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, it's, it's the same thing of when you go, this is clearly it is anything but clearly a controlled demolition. And if you saw no ship, you saw like six or eight little flashes, and then the bridge fall down all at once then that would be something that would be clearly a controlled demolition. This is not clearly anything. If anything is clear, it's the fact that you see a boat, hit it. It is, you are led to believe it is very much this, exactly what you see. But it's yeah. not clearly something else. Like That's just factually inaccurate to be like, clearly, <laughs> look. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Now, I will, I will say, too, there are, on the flip side, there are a lot, I've, I've, I've been seeing some arguments that, here's the thing, like, if you just give me a solid argument, I'll run with it. Like, I heard someone say, yeah. you, did you hear about the uh, Nord Stream pipeline? Uh, no. That was over in, uh, I believe it was Germany? Yeah, they, uh, it was basically been proven that, like, our CIA helped some group destroy the pipeline, where it was like, so... And then they immediately were like, Russia did it. It was, it was this pipeline for... Ru- oh, fuck. I'm, now I'm sounding dumb because I don't have all the like it's nuts, right. and, nuts and bolts of the thing. But yeah, it was basically this thing that... It was this pipeline that was like distributing Russian oil. And yeah. then like our, it was clearly our CIA. I think our CIA helped Ukraine. I think that's the, the working theory a lot of people have. Our CIA helped Ukraine destroy that. And then we immediately were like, Russia did it. Russia destroyed this pipeline that transports their oil to places and you're like that seems crazy so um so a lot of people are saying that like i saw one theory that was like this is uh this is payback for that which i don't have any proof of that but i'm like i can see the logical steps of that Uh and then also someone pointed out that this all this is another thing people don't ever consider is this could is is people like you you put that finger down you people one of them um but this is another people some uh this is another thing some people don't consider is if this was like a cyber attack or whatever it could be a failed attack because i saw someone i saw someone post a graphic there's a um there's an oil pipeline directly underneath the boat oh really (laughs) so yeah so you go oh maybe someone sabotaged the thing to try to get the bridge or the boat to fall on the pipeline and it just they fucked up and didn't do it right Hmm. that's actually yeah so like that's what i'm saying is like and and no matter what like we were talking about the voting thing ahead of time before that i don't know if that was on the show or not voting how, yeah about like this not actually being like a real oh demo. yeah we were doing that right before they're not going to tell us the truth like you know what yeah. i mean like they're, they're gonna be like oh it was a terrible accident and all this other stuff but like uh again with um with like september 11th or anything like that like as soon as they got the information that they could they were giving you what information they wanted you to know. And like, so, you know what I mean? Like, it it just seems to me like if, if this was an attack, I don't know why they would be hiding it because except for the fact that this was actually going to be my next question. Um, I I thought of this when you said the thing about Russia and if we're, we, we obviously have been helping Ukraine and all this other stuff. So if, if, or let's just say, let's just say 
World War Three has been popping off. It's been there's been a Cold War World War Three. It's been it's it's happening right now. It's like started already. Pat, don't turn around. (laughs) World War Three is happening right behind right now. Oh no! (laughs) Right now. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, (laughs) oh, and he's mad. So, but like, are we choosing like the worst? Like, so we're gonna be on Ukraine side against Russia. We're gonna be on Israel side against Palestine and Egypt and everybody else. And then we're also going to be not that many Arabs over there. Taiwan side against China. <laughs> yes. Is this is that for real? What's happening right now? Is that how this is unfolding? Are we going to be fucked when this happens? Are we supposed to be the ones that save all of them against China and Russia? <laughs> like no, I never thought about like, it that way. Yeah, like we're we're this is not good, right? Because there's warplanes heading over to Taiwan. They're just cruising around, just being like, "Hey, what's going on?" Just, yeah, I am. You know, I am. I'm curious about that because it's like I I got to read more about like the China situation and shit because that is one I'm admittedly super under knowledgeable about. But like, like that's what I'm worried about is like the that. Chi- <laughs> but the China one, the China one actually makes me think way over the top on like you know maybe they're like what really is happening because I'm like the China shit never makes sense to me. Yeah, I like it's like underdog. well because we like what. I said I like an underdog, but not like when it's me. Yeah, you know I, mean? I don't like the fact that we're we're only specifically siding with every under uh, underdog in this whole thing. You know, like you, you know, said, well, the China thing is is nerve wracking because it's like not only do you over you outnumber us by a ton, but you're all very much proficient in things that are learned and (laughs) well there has to be this weird like there's like this weird split personality we keep doing with china where like um like oh can we you know can you guys make everything that we buy in our country right (laughs) and then uh uh, their president however you say xi or whatever Mm -hmm. did you see the thing about like their president goes to san francisco san francisco And yeah, they you just kill all the homeless people. And- <laughs> yeah, which like, we, we can do China too, guys. We love China. You guys are. Can she come more often? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you like? Can you? You mind if he like heads out to Austin just for <laughs> yeah, a before we get there? Can you go to Austin <laughs> before we get there? Clear the deck for us. <laughs> just clear. Just clear the road off, dude. Yeah. We just want a clean ride. It. <laughs> yeah, it, it's one of those things that like I, I like. But, do you but, not oh, think we want that too? <laughs> we want no. in America too. <laughs> yeah, but it's this weird thing where they're like, "Ooh, she's coming. We better clean up the fucking city." And right, right. also, we buy everything from China and all this other shit. But then on the flip side, it's like China. If you if you do anything to this tiny country, we're gonna fucking go right. into a hole. I think it had something to do with. Um, doesn't something- Taiwan have something to do with the microchips? I have no idea. I that's that's what I was saying. It's like I did I didn't I don't understand why we specifically said we're oh. we're only gonna side with Ukraine and we're only gonna side with Taiwan and China, we like you said, we're gonna suck their suck their balls and everything, but microchip they, industry uh, would implode if China invaded Taiwan and it would affect everyone. That's I think that's like the main I don't know what China I don't use microchips. I don't what? Doesn't China use microchips? Wouldn't they want to use microchips? Yeah, I think that's like the mainstream narrative. I don't know what the fucking schizo narrative is. So so that's what I'm saying is like we're being told to be scared about certain things, but I don't think we're being scared or 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 aware of the correct things. Yes, shit's popping off. Yes, these things. But you're adding so much fluff to a thing that I think is just like you said, that could just have been a failed attack. That could have just been, you know, uh, it, it, like no matter what it doesn't seem coincidental that it's that bridge at this time and then it's also corresponding with a ton of other events that are seemingly happening randomly but i think this is i think it's already taking effect but but like you said we have a we have a working relationship with china we don't necessarily have a working relationship with russia it's very tense it's not very we don't like we've stopped all we've sent, we got all those sanctions because of the fucking war. We're actively saying we do not like you, Russia, when what you're doing right now. But China, like you said, is really backhanded because so does that mean America, the country, how I would say how that that appears to me, how we're acting, especially like, oh, you come over to the place, we'll clean up for you, all this other shit. Like we are 
it seems like we're more scared of China than we are Russia. Yeah. But I feel like Russia would be the more more of the loophole or more of the wild card in the scenario. So, I, but <clears throat> Andy, I want to close this out by saying, technically, America is the only one that's used nukes on another country before. <laughs> so. Are we the villain? <laughs> well, I that was, like, what's going on here? <laughs> well, that was the other that was the other theory I had where I got where I was like, I think I think America because if you look at the people we bully, it's yeah. like you can't you can't do what we do. We do what we do. Right. Yeah, you can't do unique. that. Yeah. So I don't know, but I, I can never tell, like, cause you know I don't I, I don't I don't know. It's like, like so much of this shit is so much of this shit is probably for optics. Well, like the Russia thing, too. It's like, I don't know. I don't know enough about Russia. It just seems like there's a there's a bigger ulterior motive on why we keep fucking with Russia and while why Russia is because like Putin. I because from what I've gathered and obviously he's a you know, he's a world leader. He's not a um, you know, you can't you can't trust him just as much as you can. He's a trust. democratically elected president, just like anybody else. He just won. <laughs> yes. Just won another term. It's it's astronomical. It's crazy <laughs> how we did it. I don't know how we did it in landslide, but he won. Yeah. You he's know, like, what I, mean? I mean, they should they should do a last dance for him like they did Jordan, because that's I, a great that's a crazy, win. crazy win rate. Um, so, uh, fun, fun side note. Speaking of dictatorships real quick, then uh, relationships with them. Have you ever seen the the, the clip of him and uh, Kim Jong Un meeting for the first time? And they each have champagne glasses oh, <laughs> and they both cheers and then they both <laughs> both just go like this to go. And they just set the glasses. <laughs> Neither really? one. Dude, yeah, look at it's one of wait, the fun. Putin things. and Kim Jong Il. Uh, no, wait. What's the new? What's this one? Un, un. I think. Yeah, Il was the old one. That's that's my father's name. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Jong Un uh, is. It's like him and uh, uh, Putin, like just meeting, and then they're, they're like being cordial, and there's all the reporters and everything. And they're behind one of those nice banquet tables. Yeah, this is so great. <laughs> so great. This is the. Look at this. Just like, hey, there we go. Huh? All right, and. And yeah, we'll just click over here. Yep, yep. Everybody got the picture. All right. <laughs> did Wait. Did some, they, yeah, they, some cheers in, bro. I thought no. There did they, did they actually take a drink there? Yeah. I've seen that. I've seen a different clip of them where they clinked like that, and then they did not take a drink. <laughs> oh, it's like way more awkward. Yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, but uh. So my thing with uh. Yeah, and so like you know, my thing with Russia. Yeah. Um, like obviously, I'm not under the misconception that Putin's a nice guy. I'm not right. pro Putin or anything like that. I'm not under the misconception he's a nice guy. Like, but you know, he's a world leader. <laughs> he runs a country. Yeah. He's definitely gotten like some fucking people he dislikes killed and all this other shit. It seems like it. You know what I mean? Right. I don't know if there's actual proof, so I'm gonna say it seems like it and this and that. Um, Allegedly. <laughs> but but like but like so there's that, but then also too there's you gotta look at it from a broader, more geopolitical standpoint, and it's like but Putin's also not like a dumb guy. And I don't I and and I think he he seems like a guy who just wants to like what am I trying to say? Well, I guess because like so I saw this thing apparently like right after 9-11 happened. Putin was like, yo, I'm so sorry. What Like, please tell me whatever I can do. But like Putin has before shown like he wants to be he wants to like work with the U.S. on some shit and this and that. And it seems like in recent years where especially since like Trump got into office and they were trying to just blame everything bad that happened in this country on Russia and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just seems like the it seems like our government hasn't gotten over the cold war they're still they're trying to just prime everyone to be like super hateful of russia and russia and russia seems like they're just kind of like yo can you just leave us alone can you just stop because that's kind of like that's kind of part of the reason why they started the war because nato kept you know russia had a thing back in the day where they were like they were like yo just don't move nato any closer than it is now and right. like they've slowly been pushing nato into they've slowly been pushing nato like around them and this and that they put these missiles on, in poland and i think they did that in a couple other countries certain various versions of that in other countries and shit like that 
And I think uh, Putin, there, I forget what it was. There was like this cable or something that came out that got leaked or this and that. And Putin was basically saying like, dude, if you try to get Ukraine into NATO, that's like a big red line for us. Like we're going to push back on that because also the other thing that they were doing is there's this, I, for, I, I believe it's Kiev. There's this <laughs> like, it's that warm water port that they were trying to take. And Russia's just like, Dude, it's our only year-round warm water port. Like, we can't give that up. Because So Russia more seems like – because people were going with that narrative that, like, Russia's trying to, you know, take back all the Soviet Union countries. And I'm like, yeah. I think they're just trying to be like, yo, please stop fucking with us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, they're kind of I, – I, like, the, the attack on Ukraine felt like a backed-in-a-corner thing. And once again, that's not like – I'm not big up in Russia, big up in Putin or this and that. I'm just saying, like, from the vibe I've gotten, it feels like the whole anti-Russia shit from our government is – like, there's some sort of ulterior motive that seems right. like some long-term beef. Right. There's something there's something happening, whether it be I don't think it's like Hitler, like, <clears throat> to be honest with you, I think the days of like. Like war, war, like I think this this Israel one, Israel and Palestine one, like in, in Ukraine and all this other shit, it like traditional, like regular war. I By the way, I sent you that uh, thing. The thing I sent you was like, uh, I think I got had. I think that was edited. I saw the an edited version of that where it made it look like they didn't trust each other and they just put it down. But obviously in the clip you just showed, they took drinks and they, but it's pretty funny to see the edited one too. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> but <clears throat> I don't think there's going to necessarily be like, you believe this? I did. I, I only saw that. i never saw the actual clip. I just saw them doing that. That wasn't the one I saw, but I saw a version of that. I oh, was so clearly edited, dude. So, but the, um, the, uh, like, I think, I don't know if there's going to be like a ground assault in the U S I think it's just going to be, uh, not unlike how it's kind of portrayed in that weird Netflix movie where that everybody was fighting over where like, yeah, we're going to still be arguing about if we're getting attacked as we're being actively attacked you know what i'm and saying we're, we're just gonna be on fire going yeah like, we're gonna be just like what's going on like who did this just gonna I be white supremacist no i think it was the media and it's just yeah like, no, it's just two people I'm on fire one's one saying it's china the other one saying it's russia <laughs> but it's like it's happening whatever is happening it's happening i think it's already absolutely happening and i don't think it's i think really all that's the attacks and everything is actually is meaning to do is just to, to take america down like literally a peg or two. Well, they kind of like, they, which they are already actively doing. You know what well, I mean? Well, they kind of learned that amazing. with, yeah, they kind of learned that with like Bin Laden and Iraq and shit, where basically um, attack the ideas and the ideals and like just in general, where you have well, a bunch no. of American students going like, like no, 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 not even that. What I'm trying to, say, I'm, tr I was just trying to remember um, what the, because it's what. Uh, Fuck, I forget who initially did it, but um, Bin Laden got the idea because I guess America, what they did to us, we did to someone else. I think they're in like Vietnam or whatever, where they like they this one country was backing like, you know, where you do like the proxy wars where the one country backs the other country yeah. and like basically goading that country into overextending themselves. And that's what that's what yeah. Bin Laden. That's what Bin Laden did is like. Yeah. So they got us they got us into this like endless war in Iraq and Afghanistan and shit and basically got us to overextend ourselves, get into like yeah. way worse debt. And now we're seeing the repercussions of that where, you know, inflation's crazy. None of the <laughs> our infrastructure sucks ass and all this like, other shit. I think the attack is meant to not necessarily <clears throat> kill or overthrow necessarily America. I think it's just basically to take it to a second or third world country as opposed to a first world country. Like whether it even just be in comparison to China or or uh, Russia or something like yeah. that. Say like, well, compared to them, I'd much rather go live in Russia than in America because, you know, America's the water's all dirty. The This is all like and it's like it's if you look at again flint you look at fucking all these chemical fire all these other plants and explosions it's already happening to where we have lower quality uh uh like food our all of our food is fucking not food uh or we have water that's like not like just completely not usable in any way you have, way to, you have to buy it yeah you have to buy every in america like dude in american 
Pit, city. Find, find one person outside of New York. Apparently, New York has amazing tap water. But find one That's person. What they say, though. <laughs> you know but, what I mean? They're but, telling you that. <laughs> no, you're doing it. You're doing it. That's what they want you to think. That's what they want uh, you. <laughs> but no, for real though, that is that's like a known thing yeah. that in New York they're tap. But in any other city, in any other city, if someone tells you to like get a glass of water, you're not getting it from the tap. You're getting mm. it from the Brita filter. Yeah, no, that's an interesting point. Well, and also too, on top of that, like you can tell because I think what's going on is like. Um, you know, I think America's just been doing too much. Um yeah. and no, like excited, for sure. Yeah, we're we're just doing too much and it's just we're becoming like we're becoming the unhinged guy on the block. And yeah. like you saw it with uh BRICS. What was that? Uh Russia, India, China and whoever the oh Brazil. Yeah, they're trying to like come together to do like a new currency and shit like that. I think there's a lot of people moving to be like Dude, America's just too much. We don't, and we don't I, like it. Would benefit us if they weren't as powerful, so they just couldn't affect our day to day as much. And I feel like it, things like that, like it, the the resistance or the problems that America has, is going to be their resistance in growing with those things. Like you know what I mean? Much like Russia was with NATO, is like the only problems that is are going to face America are the ones that we actually go like, well. It's happening. China is going to be number one. Russia is going to be number two. We might be number three or, or like, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe Canada, then us or like we don't know exactly how it's going to go. But like legitimately our like education was going down. We didn't do anything to stop the the the, the, the drop in education. Uh, well, that's any, the funny one. That's the funny one, too, because I was thinking about this where I was like, I don't know. I can't give you a specific way they're doing it. I mean, you could just like. But like it benef it actually benefits our government from the sheer fact that our government is fucking around so much, just doing nefarious shit so often. And I'm like, yeah. it actually benefits them to have a very stupid population. Right. And that and that, legitimately, and then not only that, but also like I said, the it, it also benefits them to have the infighting and all that stuff as well, because we're not actually going like it's it, it, it this is not like at, at this point, in my opinion, I feel like whether the bridge attack is uh, included or not, I don't even know if that's a thing. It could have just been just uh, like legitimately the war it that we are, like we've been fighting. We've been in this war for a lot longer than we know. And it's not going to be a thing where we can just win it. Now we have to like, fight our way out of it. I know what you're yeah. trying to say too, is like it almost at this point, it doesn't matter if it was a yeah. cyber attack. It's too it's at this point we we want we have no ability we have no power or ability to find out the truth and we also have no ability to to function it, it, what that's what we're being led to believe we can function on a day-to-day -day basis but it's yeah. also yeah. It's a lot, there's a lot of this there's a lot of that's uh, as a fo as all the things that people are responsible for to help us survive on our day to day, like make sure that we have clean drinking water to make sure that we have uh, safe ways to go back and forth to work and all that stuff. They're, they're not doing that. And yeah. we, they have not been doing that for a long time. And we haven't done anything to change that, to make it better, to hold people responsible that we need because it is a team effort to run a country. We can't just sit here and go like, well, if you don't like it, vote a new guy in like, no, we need to have the right people applying for this and we don't have people that are educated enough that are are willing enough and that are willing to actually like do the work and anybody that says the stuff that we should be hearing the critical thinking things the the conversations that should be had are 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 if you're not following a, a party line you're immediately called a kook whether it be to the right or the left so mm. it, it's actively working they whether it be our own government working with these other governments to help displace this country or we are we were in the middle of an attack and didn't even know it and now it's like it's it's already being the plans being implemented and there's no way we can unify to all fight it now you know what i mean like it's too yeah. late it's happening well you can just never living your day to day it's never too late for our generation but like that's no if if you if no if you if you give in to it's too late then they win, so it's never too late. Um, yeah, that's just what they want you to think. But also, it's <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's too late. Yeah, it's it, way too late. 
kill yourself and give me your money. We're arguing uh, about a fucking boat. <laughs> We're going, no, oh, that boat was obviously an attack. No, oh. Like, and it's like, yep, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> cool. This also, t- we got to we gotta wrap up and go into Drag the Lake in a second, but this just, r- r- remind me to bring this up another time, but this was a thing talking to Robbie. Shout out Robbie Bernstein. Uh, run your mouth coast a part of the problem he was getting me hip to this idea where there is this like because what you were saying is like dude we can run this country smooth as hell yeah. but like we have so many like so many people we who are in like positions of power are just clearly choosing to you know send all the money to like other countries to fight wars and do all this like and then you see a lot of a lot of people in the government are you know it's like what does israel want and then what does everyone else want like there's yeah. so there's all it's like and then on top of that well this also reminds me of like it, i don't know if you saw but in new york they're putting in tsa style scanners into the uh subways which is just they're like well there's all this like crime and danger so we have it's like this you're 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 giving an authoritarian solution to a problem you created like right. that turned into a problem yeah. That turned into a problem because you didn't inspect the subways enough. And I think what's happening into America is like they're doing the same thing. Like it's yeah. not like guys, Domino's figured out how to fill in the potholes. It's not hard to keep the infrastructure <laughs> up to date. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Domino's filled in the potholes. Fucking Dave Portnoy in an afternoon can, you know, I see John Stewart every couple of months on TV crying in front of the Senate. So the dudes who got black long at nine 11 can get a couple bucks. And like Dave Portnoy puts out one tweet and we'll get, uh, he got like two and a half, he got like two and a half million to the, uh, some cop. Sorry, I don't want to sound like a cunt, but there's a cop that just got, uh, killed and Dave Portnoy got like $2.6 million for him. It's like, it's not like the things we need done are not hard to do, but it just feels like we have this compromised leadership yeah. that is turning our country into this like controlled obsolescence but wait we could do this for fucking ever we gotta go over to drag the lake yeah um all right great fucking talk no more heroes uh drag the lake coming up next love we you love all be about no <laughs> yes all right all right, all right.